Hello and welcome to Penny for a Tale. Uh, we have a pretty cool night for everyone set up. Um, but one thing we have to get straight before we continue on. Uh, from here on out, I will be the voice behind the screen. I will be mother uh, in every sense. Uh, so you will not see much of me. Um... But yeah, you will see our uh, wonderful actors here who have decided to join us for this endeavor. Um, so why don't we uh, check them out? Uh, so Tara, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Tara with GeekInitiative.com and LARP.com. And I'm looking forward to this uh, wild adventure. I've been quarantined and ill so uh this is like my first coronavirus adventure and i'm excited about it awesome uh dylan hi i'm, <clears throat> I'm dylan with larped uh looking forward to having a fun little game yeah <laughs> all right zach hi i'm zach i've been role-playing for close to six years now and i look forward to uh, getting to RP with you all this evening. Okay, Terry. Hey everyone, I am Terry, and I'll be playing Morgan. Um, Alien is one of my favorite franchises, so just really excited about being in space where nobody can hear me scream. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, finally, Corey. All right, leave the best for last. I am Corey from LARP.com. Um, I'll be playing Holroyd, the... Um, what is he like a roughneck mechanic kind of person who hates the lazy smoker sig? Um, we're definitely, uh, I agree with, with Terry. A Aliens, one of my favorite franchises as well. Literally been binge watching the movies just to get into the mood and uh, ready to survive this whole thing. I'm the only survivor, just as a heads up. I'll, I'll let you know ahead of time. Yeah. I'm going to survive. They're all going to die. <laughs> wow. Spoilers. <laughs> I know, right? We, we were really hoping no one would figure that out, but uh, I, I guess we don't need to play. Uh, game over. Shut down the stream. It's game over, man. <laughs> and, of course, for everyone watching, um, movie references is always appreciated. Uh, it's not a true IP unless there's uh, plenty of the epic quotes that have made the movie uh regardless let's hop into it um so first point what's the story mother uh hadley's hope jointly funded by Wayland yutani and the united america's government has a them and us feel to it with the corporate folk looking down on the workers despite this the colony has been developing well and there's opportunity aplenty but risk aplenty as well Four days ago, a wild catter named Russ Jordan was brought back, infected with something. He died, and some snake-like parasite disappears into the guts of the base. Security has had no luck catching the thing, and somehow more people were infected. Rumor has it that some of them have died, and that there are more of these snake-like creatures somewhere within the colony. Crisis or not, you have a job to do. 24 hours ago, you headed out on a maintenance run to Processor 9, happy to leave base until the crisis blows over. 10 kilometers out, though, uh, Singleton's tractor gave up the ghost. A nasty mechanical crunch told you it wasn't going any further. Calls back to Hadley's Hope got a cursory response. You were told to wait, and they'd get to your little problem when they had the time. While you waited, you got to talking about the crisis and the Wayland yutani corporate shuttle that arrived a few days ago with an inspection team led by company agent Miranda Reynolds and her chief scientist, Theodore Komleski. Mm -hmm. Sig relays something he'd overheard, a hushed conversation about the shuttle being quickly and quietly ready for departure. Reynolds and Komleski happen to be the only two who can authorize its use, and the only two with the access key cards needed to use it. It's not right for the Wayland yutani reps to just skip out and leave you, the workers, to clean up the bloody mess. If things go bad, why shouldn't you get hold of those key cards and get away? 
A day has passed, and you'd still heard nothing. Your attempts to contact Hadley's Hope have been fruitless. No one is coming to help. The only communication you heard were garbled, panicked ones. There is no option but to walk back and see what the hell is going on. Uh, so as you guys are walking back to Hadley's Hope, I think this is a good time to kind of have everyone introduce who they are and your kind of general, like, uh, how you're feeling uh, as you're having to walk back, slugging backpacks. Uh, it's a 10-kilometer walk out in on this planet, and if you remember Hadley's Hope, the planet uh, is this almost gray, dust-like place, uh, void of much color. Um, the sand kind of kicks up, and so some of you guys have either goggles or maybe like a piece of cloth or something protecting your eyes. Um, you are singularly alone uh, during this journey. Um, but yeah, uh, let's have uh, Hannah. Hannah, Sing Hannah Singleton, uh, why don't you introduce yourself? So I'm Hannah. As you uh, may have heard, I drive the, the tractor. Um I also have some other piloting skills, but I'm, I'm a little pissed off that my, my tractor bit the dust and, uh, I definitely tend to kind of walk off, you know, a little bit to the side by myself and look at it a little bit huffy and not too happy about it. Um, not too happy about some of this company either. All right. Uh, Holroyd, why don't you introduce yourself? You are muted, my friend. No longer muted. There we go. Um, so, uh, yeah, so uh, I'm a, a hardworking looking male in his 30s, um, short brown hair um, in like kind of that mechanic overall look with with uh, the buttons buttoned up and zipped up right now, obviously, because it's kind of messed up outside and got, got goggles and a hat on to keep myself from getting a uh, dirty from the air i'm already dirty from working on stuff um got a utility belt full of little gadgets and gizmos and things of electronic repair type of stuff um and not really not really talking or anything like that but every now and then kind of looking over at sig and and just kind of like I don't know, rushing him, so to speak, or, or getting to move on because, you know, he's always lazy and walking too slow. This is true. All right, we are going to go up towards Morgan Hirsch. The good Lord is putting us through these trials. That's all that I got to say about this. And if you look at Morgan, he's definitely blessed. He is very sweaty, and that sweat is glistening off of his skin like a male model. Uh, he is ripped, and he has a position aboard the ship that she would not think that he would qualify for, which is as the cleaner. <laughs> um, it's an essential personnel. Very essential. Um, we have some city folk like make war on our on our ship, and uh, they just need to go back to where they came from because they're not even going to get their hands dirty by helping us out and doing the. The work that needs to be done here all right cool uh let's head on over to one of the most important people on this endeavor sir endeavor officer mcwer uh so officer mcwer she's a female in her early 40s um her uh, she's a union organizer so she's above like most of like the common workers um she seems a little hardened and will pull rank at times to remind people that they need to like do their job. Um, yeah. All right. And, uh, uh, last but not least, uh, Sig. The Sig, um, is late twenties. Uh, imagine like a young Bob from Bob's burgers. He's got like the stash, he's got the hair. Um, and I think he's like, just kind of like chugging along and he's not really like, he's really in his own head. Like, just like, you know, counting the minutes and, uh, like 
being a super good job of being a pencil pusher, uh, just doing whatever he can to make the time go by. He's really just not excited to be here. Um, and he's, I, I think he's feeling just kind of like, uh, uh, just kind of indifferent to everybody. Oh, that's fair. All right, so uh, for those watching, um, they have finished taking that journey, uh, and they are coming up to that western uh, lock uh, on that map there that you guys can uh, clearly see. That is mostly the first floor of uh, Hadley's Hope. Um, and as you guys come in uh, to this darkened hallway, um, you see that several of the lights are flickering. Something is definitely not uh, right. You hear a distant voice uh, talking from the intercom. It's slightly obscured by static, uh, but you can make out the following. This is an emergency message. All colonists must immediately assembly at the main storeroom. Sublevel. And then it just dies. It was like this sharp electric uh, shriek. Uh, and you see a little bit of flame erupt from the intercom system. Uh, and then just kind of die down. Yeah, damn it. Not again. Um, I'd like to go just inspect it to see if it's like damaged. Uh, like the, the intercom system. See why it was not given the full signal yeah uh taking uh taking a few steps forward and looking at the intercom system it looks like um whatever mechanisms prevented it from being on fire is no longer in place um the inside of the materials have heated up beyond the uh, regulation standards and much of the mechanisms inside the cpu and all that uh have been melted um it's just kind of a, a pool within this little intercom box um, but as you kind of look at it uh, in the dead and silence, you hear the uh, the sharp uh, kind of crack of a gunshot, and then this scream echoing through the corridors of the halls. And everyone gain one stress. Uh, you just make a little tick on your character sheet, uh, but what that means is whenever you are rolling dice to accomplish something, you will also roll your stress dice, which will be um, kind of set apart from the other dice. Whenever you get a six on the stress dice, these are good things. Good things happen, uh, but we'll get to that uh, when we get there. So, mm. what are you doing? So just to clarify, um, did, did the person who was over on the announcement say who they were? No, they did not. Is it recognizable? Not really. The Between the, the bad communication and the distance of it, it's very hard to figure out who exactly uh, it was. Okay. Um, looking over the, the people, I mean, we've been around each other long enough to know, does anyone have weapons? I don't know. Like, it's obviously, guys... I, it's obvious I don't have weapons. I have a bunch of, like, tool stuff. Is there anyone else that is obviously carrying? I would hope our uh, God fearing Marine is carrying <laughs> something. I've got a cutting torch, a hope hey. and a prayer. <laughs> but okay. I, I think we have Mc, McWhir, and McWhir is our fearless leader and should definitely go first. Because there's absolutely nothing wrong here, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm pulling out my M4A3 service pistol. <laughs> All right. So I'm it's not pretty... definitely waiting for McWhir's orders. McWhir, everyone is looking upon you for oh. direction. What? Would you okay. Do? Um, can you give me like a paraphrase of what I see? Yeah. Like in every direction. You are currently looking down a corridor. Uh, parts of the ceiling tiles are missing. Uh, so you can kind of see the, the sheeted pipes and metals uh, behind it. You are standing on a grate, uh, which kind of lined this hallway uh, up into the f door that is just down the hallway. A uh, sliding door that uh, looks fine. Okay. Um, 
What what does signature item cane mean? Signature. So everyone has a signature item. Uh, if you reflect upon the signature item, uh, it will lower your stress by one. One time during the game. Oh, uh, okay. So that's not something I can use for roleplay purposes. It, it's specifically for roleplay purposes. Uh, roleplay as well as a slight mechanic thing. Okay. Um, so is my, my cane, is it like... Uh, like an old person's cane, or is it like a weapon? Or that is up to you. Okay. Um, so I, I'm gonna kind of like use it to kind of skipping stone it along the grate and make sure everything's stable for walking. All right. Yeah. You you kind of just uh, uh, toss it and uh, clangs on the the grates and everything, uh, despite the echo, uh, looks secure. Hey, boss. Um, don't you need that to walk with? Are you just going to limp the rest of the way? Uh, <laughs> no, it's it's not for what you think it'd be for. Uh, well, I've seen you limp without it before. I'll go get it for you. Don't worry. So I go pick it up and hand it back to him. All right. You take a few steps forward. Um, your shoes on this kind of uh, somewhat damp grates. Um, you can see water underneath it, uh, black, uh, just because of the light, the lack of lighting. Um, you reach out, your hand wraps around the, the cane. Uh, you can almost see a couple of bubbles come up from the water. Um, but you were able to retrieve said cane for your officer. All right. Okay. So here you go. So look, look stable. And then I tell everyone that we should move forward. All right. Okay. Um, Who is uh, Officer Wurr? Are you uh, showing your courage and leadership by stepping forward in front? Oh yeah, yeah. I'll I'll be in front the entire time with a knife brandished. All right, excellent. Uh, you move forward, um, kind of do the uh, the usual in order to open the door. Um, it swipes uh, to the left. Um, in the usual, like, creaky way it does, uh, you could probably blame the mechanic for that, um, but just beyond this, uh, you see several, um, kind of roughneck cubicles, uh, with these steel frames, uh, and computers, um, some of them, um, are still on, you see the green text kind of flashing across, uh, one of them, strangely, is still has kind of like the starting screen for Oregon's Trail, um, there are food left on the table. Some papers are on the ground. Um, the lighted beam that, uh, usually kind of engulfs this whole place and, um, amazing office light, uh, is only halfway on. Uh, the back end of it is flickering every now and then. Um, you see just beyond it, the ladder heading up to floor, uh, two, uh, and just next to it, there is a steel grate for the ventilation shaft, but it appears to have been busted open. Uh, there is a hole uh, pressed into it. Sorry, what, what was that? Can you repeat that last part? Mm -hmm. uh, just next to the ladder, uh, there is in the air ventilation system, one of the, the grates, there is a hole uh, in it. Uh Okay, um, I examined the hole to see, like, what could have caused it. All right, so you're heading across the office floor towards the, the ventilation uh, shaft. Um, <laughs> you will have to bring over a chair because it's a little bit taller than you are. Um, assuming you do, you slide the chair over the, the screeching metal, uh, place both feet upon that chair, and you're going to look into it. Do I, do I make an observation roll? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's two and then one stress dice, right? Uh, yeah, so are you adding your skill and your attribute? Say again? You should be adding your, your skill and your attribute. Uh, which attribute would go with observation? Wits? Yes. So six die total? Mm-hmm, yeah. Six die, or was it five and the stress die? So it would be four plus two, and then an additional stress die on the side, right? Yeah, yeah. So six die, and then keep that stress die separate. And it's not six on the stress die you're looking for, but a one that would be a bad thing. Four on the stress die. All right, you're good. 
And then you want me to total up the numbers for the, nope, the rest? You are you looking you for sixes. Sixes are the successes required. Uh, you okay. are just looking for that six. So I, I got one, two, three, five, five, six. All right. So you do have a six. So only the sixes are successes. Um, so you are you're looking in there and you uh, see um, kind of some movement in the, the darkness of the, the shaft. Uh, as well as what sounds like kind of this pitter-patter of uh, something sharp against the, the metal. Um, anyone got a light? Mother, what's going on here? <laughs> uh, Mother does not respond. I do have a motion tracker, McGuire, if that would help. All right. Here, take a look, and then I motion to get up on the chair. Sure, nothing at all could possibly go wrong. <laughs> um, I sort of stand on the chair, but mostly just chuck the motion tracker up there. <laughs> are, you, are you tossing it in there? Yeah. <laughs> all right, and I don't know if this makes it better or worse, but as you toss it up there, you kind of hear the, the bang of this contraption uh, echo through this ventilation shaft. <laughs> Um, and like, it's silent right afterwards. And then you hear a scream far off and then a silence again. And then you hear the ding, ding, you know, that, that little, the little, uh, slight noise that indicates movement, uh, from that tracker. Sadly though, uh, you can't really see it. You could of course reach out your arm and grab it to, see exactly what it's saying or trying to communicate to you. Uh, but at this moment, you know that something is moving nearby, but it's up to you well, to figure out. something's moving up there. It could be a person. It could be something bad. So you said we're, we're currently in a room of, uh, of Roughnecks um, bunks? Uh, offices. Um see like worksmen workmen tools and stuff like that uh it's really kind of where the colonies use and it's not as extravagant and fancy as like the the company's office which is uh floor above so it's kind of like a miners mm -hmm. or like a construction workers office kind of right. the, the best comparison they're like um, a big hammer is there a hammer yeah like a big hammer a such hammer um you can make an observation roll so wits observation and of course that plus one stress uh, make that separate from the other dice yeah and part of the, the cool thing about the system is that as you gain stress you become better at doing things because stress kind of helps that but of course if you fail on that stress dice you get a one uh, which is kind of a critical fail um bad things uh very well can happen and will happen which by the way terry if you want to roll it easier if you use the advanced roll option and roll 20, so you hover your mouse over the dice at the top left and then do advanced dice roller. If you use an exploding die that's separate, it'll roll one of them separate. So you see how mine has has them all separate. You can use the last one. All right, and I'm, I'm looking for sixes. Yep, sixes mm -hmm. are a success. Yeah. And people watching, they are in that kind of the, the Western room there. They got no sixes. No, no sixes. What'd you get on your stress dice? A three. All right. You're 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 uh, you're not gonna freak out right here and now. Uh, looking around, you're trying to find something to aid you in. Um, uh, kind of breaking open something or, or what have you. Uh, as you move through the toolbox, you are able to get a hammer that is about this size. So it's kind of like one of those little pick hammers. Very tiny. We've been living on this play on this in, you know in this area for a while now, right? Mm -hmm. You have. The the spot we're in would me as a mechanic have been would I have known the people in this area? Uh, yeah, I mean, people kind of come and go from this area, um, but you, you would generally have an understanding of who has access. Okay, because what I'm, what I'm trying to do is see, do I remember if any of them, like, said how, oh yeah, how they had weapons and would have stored it in their lockers. Oh, no, I mean, come on, construction workers don't have weapons. What is this? 
I mean, you know, <laughs> protection. So, um, you don't need protection out here. The company would not have sent you if it was dangerous. Okay, so everyone thinks That's right. Every, yeah. every or everyone's been fine forever, so they don't need shit. Exactly. Except for officers or whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Um, well, you know, being that you have a pistol, do you want to walk down the hallway and see what's moving down there? Since you're the only one who apparently can protect themselves. Hannah, that was towards you. I'm sorry, what did you say? So, being that you're the only one, you and Morgan are the only ones with weapons of some sort, yeah. um, do you want to go check out whatever's running out down there? Because if it's a person, we need to make sure they're okay, right? Are you talking about up in the vent? or uh... Down the hallway. Uh, I'm okay with hallway. I'm not yeah. going out there, though. Oh, yeah, no. I mean... <laughs> Only I crawl in vents when I'm trying to fix stuff. Yeah. Hey, since you have experience doing that, would you mind going uh, up into the vent and retrieving my motion sensor? Oh, yeah, sure. Thanks. All right, cool. So, Hallroyd, you get up on that chair. Uh, you can see the uh, uh, the motion tracker. It's currently face down right now, so you can't see what it's trying to communicate to you. But if you kind of reach your arm down into the shaft... Mm -hmm. um, you should be able to grab it. All right. Yeah. So I'll reach for it. Mm. All right. Uh, you do. And you just kind of like the, the first like fingers that you have uh, tap it. So it goes a little bit further, but you stretch a little bit more and grab the handle and, and pull back um, at this moment. Um, because of course everything is okay. In this moment. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm happy to proceed down the hallway. I have my, weapon brandished and i do have a question about that weapon mm -hmm. um it says i have one reload so how many rounds do i have uh already loaded it's a um it's more of a uh narrative thing uh so okay. i will let you know when you All run right. out because in most horror movies it always runs out in the worst possible time of course <laughs> or probably when you need it the most all right mm -hmm. all right so you guys well, going down the tunnel yeah. Did you want me to hold the the um thing since you have your gun, or can you do both? Oh, yeah, you can hold on to that. Thank okay. you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And Mitch, uh, looking at the Hadley's Hope map, uh, where did you say we are? Uh, you are in, uh, let's see what's called, C Block 1. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so, so we you went can... through the casino, though? the because uh, i mean a little bit there's kind of like office areas and some other card stuff uh but yeah you can either go to e block one or b block one i think we were going to b block one right but otherwise we towards the offices like do we know what's in b block one b block one uh our offices well what's an e block one e block one are the lads in boiler room mm, where do i we would, think go ahead uh i would recommend we go to e block one uh i, I see on the map here if if this is common knowledge mm -hmm. uh that there's an access terminal and maybe an intercom you know maybe we can uh you know uh look and you know see what's going on in the base um, if there's you know any information to gain there yeah, so basically what we know from when we walked into the storage at the top left of C Block 1, we know that the intercom went off, so we heard something there. So we know someone had to be near the intercom, right? And intercom. A intercom. And intercom, yeah. So we know there's a couple of them. I mean, that does look like a pretty close one, so I'm, I, I agree. All right. I agree with my buddy saying. So who is leading the way? Uh, I'll go up front. Thanks, Cap. Officer. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, I'll be right behind. Again. Okay. Yeah, ni knife out. Kind of like the tactical way how like po policemen like look behind a door with their flashlight, kind mm -hmm. of doing that with the with the knife. Alright. And I got the uh is the motion sensor thing turned on? Yeah, I assume so. Does it have a battery like uh, uh does it tell me if it has a battery life? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got about eighty percent on it. Okay. All right. Yeah, so I would be fine. Yeah, I want to 
keep track of that. If it starts to look like it's dying, then I'm not going to keep it on. Otherwise, I'll keep it on. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you guys head uh, eastward towards the uh, geology labs, um, uh, which is kind of like primarily uh, tracks LV426's terraforming, which is a planet that you currently are on. Uh, you see the research offices uh, as well as um, several panned windows looking into uh, sterile rooms. Uh, these windows are kind of uh, wet with moisture. Um, not usually that is the case. Uh, so it's a little bit strange seeing that right now. Um, so it makes it hard to see what exactly is beyond the windows. Is there like a door where I can poke my head in it? Yeah, there's a access panel right next to the door for you to open it. Okay, I do that. Or try to. All right. I mean, you open it up. Uh, you know the access code. Uh, the door slides open, uh, and you see various um, uh, large tubes um, filled with um, kind of like almost this material of some sort. Um, if you ever seen shit in a toilet, it's like that. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just kind of spinning around. Um, on the table, there are these three uh, leather-like sacks um, with, uh, it almost looks like a um, a tulip uh, with the top part um, closed. And there are about two feet in width, uh, about three feet in height, uh, resting on the table. Hey, Captain, City Folk, what are these flowers over here? A leather flower? No, they're in a bag. They're like flowers in a bag. Um, can you explain the flowers again? Mm-hmm. They are these large, almost bulbous-like uh, tulip-looking things, but more like a leather exterior. Uh, it looks somewhat glistening, so probably moist. Uh, and they are they are pretty large. Um, uh, are they familiar at all? No, you've never seen one before. Okay, um, I'll make an observation roll to like see maybe what they were used for, why they would look like mm-hmm. that, what the team did down here. Yeah, of course, you'll have to go a little bit closer, but, you know, you're the captain. I'm sure you're up for it. And then kind of like when I – you said it's in a bag, like, zip tight, right? No, no, they are not in bags. They are just on the table. Okay, so we're already breathing the same air as them. Yeah. The okay. moment the door was opened. Yeah, that's why I said leather, because he said leather. It's not a flower a leather flower it's a big leather flower you should sniff it smell it it's pretty it's beautiful okay um one one six and i got a six on my stress die all right so that just counts as another success Uh, um so you approach said object uh do you touch it Uh, before he before he answers just to clarify Mm -hmm. so i we made a slight change is my agenda still the same Yes, it is. Okay, so then I, I uh, as, as soon as you go up to start messing with it, like, I kind of let you, but as soon as you go to, like, look like you're going to touch it, I jump and I say, like, what the hell? Like, we don't know what these people have been doing on this lab. This isn't part of our stuff. We shouldn't be touching stuff, boss. And I, kinda, uh, I wasn't touching it. I was looking at it to see maybe what they used it for, why they look leathery. I know, um, but... You're you're observing it enough to where I I now jump in between you and it, and I'm like, come on, we we need to move on. Like someone got shot. Like like let's get away from this weird shit. You have something to hide here. What if the captain wants to smell the flowers? I yeah. think we should we should clear the room first. Make sure there's no uh, threat here. And I I go in and look around and make sure there's no like obvious beings there. Mm-hmm. Okay, I dissect one of them with my knife. Uh, so first I... off, let, let's go back to the observation role. Uh, <laughs> Officer Wur, as you're you're looking over this, uh, despite kind of the distractions or everything, there is a slight pulse to each of them, uh, and it looks like the membrane of this thing is thin enough that you can see something moving around inside of it. Okay, then, yeah, I want to put, like, a bowl over it or something. Like, something to where we can contain it before, like, looking at them further? Yeah, there is no bowl big enough to do that in this... Wait, they're, they're really big? 
Yes, they they uh, are about yeah they're about two feet uh, in width with about three feet in in height. Oh, okay. No, I was under the impression these are like potted plants. No. No. Okay. Um, it's, it's not a plant. Think of like a bulbous like. Think of like a, a a football that's four times as large, and then it has like these um, <laughs> kind of slits, crown at, the slits top. at the top. It's like slits um, that look like it could flap open. And literally, like Holroyd is like pushing you back. Like I see you like reaching for your knife. I'm like, boss, like chill out. We we know that there's some like weird shit that these laboratory fucks do. Like we need to move on. Someone has been shot. And I agree with Hannah. We need to see what's going on. Well, I, I've always been skeptical about the like what they were doing down here, and I kind of just want to find out what's going on. I I, I, I want to take his cane from him and throw it down the hallway. Go get your cane. Wow. <laughs> 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 wow. Uh, so everyone just saw Holroyd um uh I mean do something against your commanding officer. <laughs> yeah, so, I'm just like completely baffled, like looking at him straight in the face. Did yeah. did you just act out against your superior? Boss, listen, like Someone shot. I'm freaking out because this isn't normal. There's someone firing, whether they're firing on another person, whatever. Shouldn't you be worrying about that instead of the, whatever this lab shit's going on? Like, come on, let's move on. How do you know this has nothing to do with it? Have you ever seen these things here before? No, but that's because none of us come to the lab. That's not part of our job. Like, where the fuck is everyone at? And why was someone on the intercom screaming about getting help or some bullshit? What is your sudden like focus on these these random things that literally can't hold a gun to fire it? And I don't see any. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't see any bullet holes in these things. Nope. Can I hit one of the pods with my hammer? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you go up and you smack the pod. Um, it, it, I mean, it's a small little hammer, uh, so it doesn't really uh, do much other than put like this little uh, bruise, uh, almost reddish in color, uh, upon the side of it. Um, and kind of in response, you see the the lid of this thing kind of open up, a blossom of sorts. Captain, I've got this flowering plant for you now. So oh, I, I don't. I'm gonna move on because you guys are dumb as fuck. <laughs> because we don't know what the hell is going on. Hannah, let's see if we can go find who got shot. All right, I'm trying to make sure the room is clear. There's no obvious threat here. Yeah, everything uh, looks fine. You kind of look under the table. Um, I mean, something happened here. There's probably there's a sign of a, a scuffle of sorts, kind of uh, boot tracks, um, as well as a, a bit of blood next to a corner of the desk. That's it. All right, uh, I'm I'm ready to move on. Next room. Okay, but if we don't find anything in the rest of the ship, I say we come back here. This is a big. A it's it's not a ship. We're on a we're on a like a oh a base. We're on a colony. Base. A base, yeah. right? A colony. Yeah. I mean, it's right. big. There's plenty of stuff. We know um, uh, Stig mentioned the intercom here. Do we know of any other intercoms? I mean, there's one on the above floor, and there's some on the below floor, the underground. Is B block underground? Uh, so it looks like there's an intercom in D1. Uh, there is a intercom in the hall between B1 and D1. Yeah, and I'll I'll give you guys a look at the other map as well. Okay, uh, so it definitely. I mean, we we would know this, mm -hmm. right? I mean, we've lived on this base. Yeah. Okay, so I mean, there's quite a few places they could be. Um, is it? I know the the intercom kind of crapped out on us when we were you know first walked in here. Mm -hmm. Um, but like, could could I maybe try and like you know press a button on the intercom to like you know, see if anyone's still out there. Yeah, definitely. Um, right. So you, you go over to this intercom uh, nearby? Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, you press the button, um, and there's kind of like this little crackle as it, it comes to life. Um, what do you say? Uh, hey, this is Sarah. Is anyone out there? Is everyone okay? Um, 
If you can uh, re reply, please do. Let us know you're safe. All right. Uh, you pause for a moment, and it's pretty quiet. Um, and then you you hear kind of a response, but it, it sounds too distant. Uh, there's too much static in between. There's obviously something wrong with the communication. I'll press again. Hello? Hello, it's Sig. Please respond. Can I observe it, or... Is messing up. Can I use... Uh... Could I use my com tech skills to maybe like try and? Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. I didn't know you had com tech uh, too. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so yeah, it's com tech uh, plus wits. Can I assist in any way? Com capacity? Uh, yeah, you can give him uh, one die. Okay, uh, so I'm assisting because I've got you know electronic tools. So I'm like, what do you need? All right, so it's roll. And eight. remember that one stress die. Which is separate. It's com check plus. Is it plus anything like wits? Yeah, wits. <clears throat> okay. It'll always be plus something. Cool. Okay. Um, no successes, but I did get a six on the stress die. Okay, that still counts as a success. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Damn. Yeah. How... So uh, you kind of open up the panel, uh, see parts where uh, some of the the wires and the contraptions have overheated. Uh, move some wires around that allows you to communicate though it'll be a little bit more difficult just because of the damage um and as you kind of pra place the the box uh, the box back uh you hear uh someone um uh, uh kind of shouting as if they're shouting uh far away from the box itself uh saying help we're we're down below on the underground we need help assistance please Uh, and I think a, a, a chills are kind of running down Sig's yep. uh, spine. As we'll give uh, everyone plus one panic. So everyone's at two panic now. Damn it, Sig. Why do you have to give them other ideas? Panic or stress? Panic? Huh? He, he means panic stress, or stress, I think. Yeah, stress dice. I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> all right. So now we know they're below. They said below what? In the underground. So this you're on level one right now. Uh, there's a basement level, and then there's a level above you. So the sub level one is that where? That's where they talked about. All right. So what's our what's our closest? I'm assuming it's ladder, a ladder. Mm -hmm. And there's one here in the same block. It looks like. Yep. We're in we're in block E one. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm looking at E two. Yeah. yeah so you're at you're at E one right now. Oh. Yep. Still on floor one. Oh, you got to go back to the other map. Oh, did I? Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. Ciao. Okay. Uh, yeah, it still looks like there's a ladder somewhere mm -hmm. in this block. Oh, yeah, right there. All right, are you going down? So um... we know. Okay, hold on. Because we would all know what skills certain people have to be good. Because I, I totally didn't know Sig was uh, ComTech as well. So, so Sig, you have like ComTech, and what else are you good at? Yeah, uh, so I'm a lab tech. Um, I'm good at uh, ComTech. I can do medical aid. Um, and that's those are like the main tech skills that I'm, I can do. Okay, so everyone would know that I'm more of a mechanic, so I'm good at all the heavy machinery stuff. Uh, Comtech, fairly good. Is your Comtech three? Yep. Okay, so you're better than me at Comtech, uh, but I'm good at heavy machinery, and, and I'm, I'm just barely okay at medical um, aiding. Anyone else want to describe what they're good at so we know that what we can play off of? I'm good with this brandishing pistol, and... Uh... <laughs> piloting obviously I do a little bit of com tech but um ranged combat is uh, my forte okay morgan i'm i'm really strong and i'll flex <laughs> also uh, i know i should know like this building by the back of my hand because i'm always cleaning and doing stuff yeah <laughs> make war uh more more like of a leader, a little bit of combat, and a little bit observation. 
That's why he okay, makes cool. the big bucks. So I'll look at Sig and I'll so and I kind of look at you like you should have already been talking about this, but we if someone's shot, we need medical um, uh, equipment to help them, right? So we know we're uh, we're right around the corner from the uh, chief medical's office, uh, chief medical office, right? Okay. So, so maybe we go there, get some supplies, and make our way down. Um, we could do that. I do have a medical kit on me, I think. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so you have a medical kit. Yeah. Um, okay. I mean, we obviously, I mean, we couldn't just bum rush in here without, like, you know, some further things. That's why I suggested we go here. Sure. Oh, good point. But you didn't suggest that. I did. So let's go there and let's let's um let's grab some some supplies is there anywhere else we could think of before we start going to where gunshots are fired that we need before we go downstairs is there an armory so uh sorry it is go, go on ahead. floor two okay is so we above e1 mm -hmm. so we'd have to go upstairs instead of downstairs so question mitch uh did we like did, is there any way we could have like known where the gunshot came from, or was it just kind of a, we heard a shot rang out somewhere? Yeah, it's just a shot rang out. Um, coming in, it's kind of just hard to place it. Okay. And other than the armory, do we know of anywhere else guns may be stored? I mean, some people might have it on their personal lockers and stuff like that, but it's a risk. So, so basically, what 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 Holroyd would be trying to def determine is we want to make a, a beeline for the chief medical officer or chief medic medical office to grab any spare supplies we can. But we also know like, Hey, we may want to be able to protect ourselves and we have one gun. Um, if there's anything close by that anyone could point out, any of the team would know about, we can go there. Otherwise we get the medical supplies and go down. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So you guys going to the medical area? Yeah. All right. You head down just a, a little bit uh, to that little uh, medical area. Um, of course, it takes the officer's permission in order to enter. Okay. Um, what do I need to do? Like an um, like an eye, a visual thing? Uh, it's, you have a, a card uh, that you can just kind of swipe from your pocket. Um, has your ID. Everyone has it, but of course yours uh, allows more access to the colony. Um, I've got like a level three or something. Yeah. Uh, so kind of coming into to this area, um, you see three slabs of steel uh, in the center of the room, each one with a blanket up top a, uh, a humanoid form. Um, the sheets are black, so it's kind of hard to tell. Um mm -hmm. Uh, the the exact figure of, of the thing underneath. Um, there are several uh, bookshelves on the side as well as a desk. Um, the computer looks like it's uh, on the ground. Uh, it's smashed open, uh, bits of it uh, everywhere. Um, and the light is not working. Uh, it's just kind of dark in here. So really all you see are kind of like these silhouettes and such and the blinking lights of some of the mechanisms in here so does it look like there was a scuffle or is it just like the computer fell and got stepped on who knows um the way the blankets are laying over the figures mm -hmm. um is it like covering the head like yes to... okay so one might surmise that these are likely dead people yeah definitely um could I maybe go over to one and like pull the sheet back to take a look at it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, I I I think Sig is like his hands are like trembling as he like goes to like pull back the sheet. Um, what does he see? So just as you're 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 pulling this thing uh, ever so slightly, first you see hair. Mm -hmm. um, but the hair is matted as if it had been losing it. So you see parts of the flesh um, inflamed in some areas uh, with almost this uh, 
these bulbous um, spore things kind of uh, on top as if there was an infection uh, on several parts of the head. Pulling down a little bit more, you see two uh, cranial skulls uh, mashed together uh, with both of the mouths um, kind of forming into one uh, painful uh, scream. Um, its eyes uh, are completely sunken into the, the corpse. Uh, these little dots in this uh, flesh of a face. Mm-hmm. Um, so, of course, you take one stress as you see this. <laughs> are you going to continue to pull it back? I... Um... <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm I'm gonna like kind of like wheel around for a second, <laughs> and just be like, kind of like regain my uh, senses and uh, like kind of bring my hands away from my face. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, realizing everything seems okay, um, and I'd maybe do like a like a medical check on it to to. Can I do that? Like a medical... Would medical aid apply here? Are you trying to look at what, like, happened to this thing? Yeah, or, like, mm-hmm. a cause of death. Okay. Definitely. Go ahead. Um, so that would be wits, I'm assuming? Yeah. Okay. So that would be six plus three stress dice. Is one success. One success. All right, excellent. Um, <clears throat> so just from uh, the place that you revealed, um, you know that there is no medical answer for what is going on uh, to this, uh, whatever it is. Um, from what you can tell, it looks like the the cells of one human tried to integrate itself with the cells of another you see pieces where the flesh are completely intact with one another in a continuous uh, form. Um, it looks like uh, inflammation and infection is probably what did it in. Um, you notice several parts of uh, just kind of like this almost sepsis on the neck, uh, black. Um, but yeah, definitely it was trying to think about how all how all this came about it was definitely one of the most painful things that could happen to someone so i just want to make a clarification Mm -hmm. um and and get your uh gm rule on how we want to do this so a few of us are doing roles via uh roll 20 and we know you said you weren't going to watch it Mm -hmm. um when we do the rolls, there's no way to specifically differentiate a stress die versus a, a non-stress die. So how do you want us to tell which one's stress? Do you want us to roll stress separately, or do you want us to say the first or last ones are stress? Whichever uh, you guys want to do. I completely trust you guys. So I don't want to make the call for myself, and, and I don't want to make the call based on this roll, but... Um, my original intention was to use the last numbers. So like if, if I had three stress die and I rolled mm-hmm. seven, the last three would be my stress die. Mm-hmm. But the other option would be to roll them separately. So I kind of wanted to get your opinion on how you want to say yay or nay on that. Uh, we'll go with the last uh, couple of dice will be stress dice. Okay. That being said, and it's, it's just for this, the, the, the stream, um, Sig, you mm-hmm. rolled all ones for your stress die. So rolling ones uh, on the stress side is bad, oh, right? Okay, so so I wanted to clarify how I rolled it. So mm-hmm. I read, I have 66 because I have four wits and two medical aid. Mm-hmm. And then I have stress side dice, which are separate from those, right? Correct. Right, so I was using hard dice. Yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah, however you guys oh, do it, it's completely okay. up to you. And that's, yeah. what I want, that's why I want to make sure, because I'm going to do it because I don't have hard die with me. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to roll in roll 20 and whatever the last numbers of, sh- of stress die those are going to be my stress die so okay cool yeah all right yeah sorry for the confusion cool so what are you guys doing so i want to clarify though um 
we see him turn around and we see him probably what go like white face suddenly and then turn back around and start basically playing with this corpse i wouldn't say playing with it uh, methodically checking over its uh contents okay dig uh, we we didn't come here to play with the dead we we came here to get medical supplies and we read we really don't have time to be i don't know what you're doing i'm just concerned that it's hard to see in here yeah. that's true too is the light just flickering or is it like dangling or uh, it's off it's just off can we turn the light on yeah you flip the switch and it does not turn on okay can i try to fix it see if the switch mechanism's busted uh-huh go ahead and roll i'm gonna keep watching the hallway all right um holroyd if the if whatever is maybe in here that is uh chasing people down i don't know if we're really safe in here like i'm like this pointing pointing at the body is bad really bad so um we we where did we see something chasing someone or we just heard gunshots we heard gunshots mm-hmm. um i would um, this is just me thinking here mm-hmm. i think the gunshots were probably in self defense i don't think anyone was shot i think some someone is being chased and they shot at whatever was chasing them and it's probably whatever did this Wait, didn't we hear a gunshot and then a scream of pain? Probably uh, because whoever got attacked. Okay, so or just... Wait, to... I, I don't know if regular medical supplies are going to be able to fix this. This is really bad. Okay, so when he says this, this is when I, I look at what the hell he's looking at. Fucking sick, damn it. So... I look at what he's looking at. I'm assuming I'll, I'm going to freak out and take a stress die now. Yep, you get a stress die. Um, I was trying to fix the calm, and only six is fix, right? Sixes are our success. Mm-hmm. So I've got four fives, no sixes. Oof. <laughs> but no ones, so that's good. Yeah, that's that just... is good. Yeah, you you attempt to to, to fix it, and, and as you do... Um, uh, the light kind of flickers on for the briefest of seconds. Um, Singleton, why don't you give me a observation roll, please? All right. <laughs> uh, is that just wits? Yep, wits observation. Okay. I can imagine. This is about the point I turn around when Sig's saying it, and I see with lights fucking bright what the fuck he was looking at. So I'm rolling two for wits, and I have no observations. So just two? Yep. Okay. And then my two stress separately. Um, one success. And I got a two and a four for my stress. All right. Uh, so you're going to take a stress from this. As you as you kind of look back, the light flashes on for the briefest of seconds. And mm-hmm. in this moment, you notice that the second slab underneath the blanket, uh, almost like a kid peering out from... Uh, the, the blankets of a room you notice this upside down twisted face with uh its jaws extended out in this most heinous of smiles no teeth whatsoever you just see blood dripping from its gums as it looks at you smiling uh well, and then the lights, on? the lights are off now it's just the briefest of seconds that you saw this thing that's not enough for me to, to shoot it. All right. We got to get out of here. Let's go. <laughs> what the I'm fuck's going here. on? Sig, cover that nasty-ass body up. Forget it. Just go now. Let's go. There's something in here. Let's go. Um, and, of course, take us. Oh, you already told you take the stress, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I will quickly uh, run out of the room. All right. How about everyone else? What was going on in there? Yeah, I'm out. I mean, she's. I mean, I see Pilot Hannah freaking out, which I'm telling you, I've never seen before. So Holroyd's like, "Okay, something fucking up." It was some weird creature face thing. Captain, you want to go check? No, I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> Let's do. Is the door a sliding door? Mm -hmm. So we can yeah, like we can like it. close it. Yeah, unlock it. Okay. Uh, I I would I would say to word like, Captain, can you please close the door? If there's something in there, we need to get we need to lock it in quickly. It it up. Is everyone out of the room? I'm out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I, I, yeah, I close it. Yep, you do the override. Oh, it it slams shut. Does and you for hear the mechanisms inside of it locking. <laughs> Says the lazy man, Sig. So, okay, fuck. So it's. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. What in the hell is going on? I. I don't know about you, but I'm a little less worried about who the fuck was screaming, and I'm more worried about us. We need to get weapons. I think. Uh, would we know if there's, like, an armory on the base? We there's, already uh, covered that, officer. Yeah, there's an armory on the second floor. If what you pay attention, the, officer. Self-preservation, though. I mean, like, what if it's something that's contagious and we can't protect ourselves with guns like what do we do what's our evacuation plan what the, what the fuck morgan is there even a, a role for that mother what for like figuring out like so i have survival oh how to get out no like trying to figure out like if this was a medical thing meaning like oh. doctors did that or you if do this not was, like, have a... enough information to make that call okay you can of course speculate Whatever I saw in there, we don't want to mess with that. What about like the safest place for me to be? Could this that be a survival role? Uh, no, I mean, you know that if something has occurred here, um, the safest place is in the bottom floor. Uh, they have like a vault uh, that people are supposed to go to if things get bad. Um, another thing is that there is the company ship uh, that is prepped and ready to go. But of course, you need both of the company cards to unlock the uh, kind of like the clamps on it. <gasps> Where is those? Where's the two people that have the cards that you mentioned earlier? Uh, you have not seen them as a seen them as of yet. So it's none right. of us. Yeah, could I break the okay. clamps off? No, you'd, you you fear that you could either damage the ship, uh, but it would take, like, some heavy equipment, which is also underground. Can can Sig and I, like, hack into the um, the terminal? To try to undo the clamps? No, no, no. Um, well, that's another option. No, the... the um, sorry, not the terminal. Um, the intercom, is it just vo uh, vocal? Mm-hmm. And the access, the access terminals are just... To get in and out of doors. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Sorry, the mainframe. Where you looking the for the mainframe? Yeah, because basically I want to I want to hack into the mainframe and try to see uh, footage of where, if I can find where those people were. Oh, uh, there's not really cameras on the colony. Uh, you yeah. guys have never had real need of it. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm so surprised. <laughs> Who would have thought that like everyone would just be totally trustworthy yeah. on uh, <laughs> on this corporate uh, <laughs> space okay. station? McWhir, you're an officer. Where would someone of a higher stature hide in the in the event of an emergency? Um, can I do a role to have like past? Uh, past recollections and just like general knowledge where it would be a tactically good pa place to hide? Um, I mean, all emergency protocols uh, tell you to go downstairs to mass housing. All right. Mass that's housing? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah, I'll, I'll inform everyone that's where we're like, um, what we've been informed to do in the event of emergency so we could likely find them down there. All right. Okay. And then uh, I'll lead the way to the closest ladder down, if everyone wants to go. Uh, with all due respect, Captain, I'm not going down there without a gun. We we've got a gun, and I mean, we're I've, I'm limited on shots, but I've got my bolt gun here to stun whatever's doing this. How about we go to the armory first, and then make our way down? Because if I run into whatever. Uh, what was the pilot's name? 
uh, whatever Hannah saw is out, on around here. I I don't think we should. Uh, you want to shoot that? I'm still confused where the hell Morgan's gun is. How are you a fucking marine without a gun? I'm an ex marine. Oh, I I'm ex marine. I could tell. How, how long is the trip to the armory? Like, is it far from us, or is it somewhere we can make a quick trip to? You can make a trip uh, quick over there. It's, um, I'll go ahead and put up the second floor, since it seems where you guys will be headed off to. Um, but yeah, it is in B Block 2. Oh, yeah, there's a medical lab up there, too. And the administrator's office. Oh, shit, there's a morgue up there, though. Uh, I don't want to see what I just saw again. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, so I guess um, because I I haven't really seen what we're I'm just going off of what everyone is saying right now. I haven't really investigated anything besides that hole. So if everyone's saying they saw a, like a monster or something, I guess we'll we'll head to the armory. Did you yeah. not see that fucking weird ass body on the fucking table, dude? No, I just saw a bunch of corpses. Everyone was just gathered around it. Yeah, really, Eyes it's probably wide. the kind of the spookiness of the lower class underpaid individuals. Like, this is why you're here, really, Officer McWhorter, to keep these people straight. Okay, so lead us to the armory. We can, we can arm ourselves. Then we can go to the med lab, and we can get fucking medical supplies there. Wait, what's a command center? It's a command center. <laughs> It's just a place where all kind of like the uh, people can deal out orders where it's kind of like the main office. Oh, so it doesn't have. Oh, never mind. There's no surveillance or anything. Anyway, what's that mean for you? <laughs> OK, I, I guess let's let's make the trip to the armory and see what we can find in there. Excellent. So you guys Thank go you. directly up um, from E block, um, which brings you up to the. Uh, Actually, yeah, that will bring you up to uh, command medical and the morgue. Perfect. Oh no. Medical. Do we want to? Do we want to uh, stay together, or do we want to like be quick about this? Let's just go to the armory. Uh, are there any like adrenaline shots inside of the med lab? Sure, there might be. Um, can I search for some? What are you a junkie? Yeah. So you guys all kind of climb the the ladder up to the uh, to E block two, um, yeah. which brings you to kind of like the uh, you have the med lab area, you have ops, um, uh, as well as kind of like a small little uh, medical center. But of course, that's in the med lab itself. Are you going to the med lab or just heading towards the uh, armory? Med lab. And we should grab some supplies from the med lab if we're going to be. If we're gonna be well armed. Why not be well protected? Because our tech researcher literally just said that there's nothing that you can do that's going to help what these people face. No, he didn't say that. The tech lab said, "The tech lab said, oh, I'm scared." Yeah, he said that guns aren't gonna do it. And he says he, he 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 was the one who suggested we go get guns. Yeah, that's true. Let's go get. So, uh, I don't know. I want to go to the med I'm lab and, and grab some supplies from the med lab first. All right, you head over to the med lab. The first thing you notice as you're kind of putting, uh, uh, pressing the buttons to open the door uh, is when you retrieve your hand from the, the buttons, there's a little bit of red on the tips of your fingers. The door slides it... open, uh, and you notice this leg, which had been pressed against the door, kind of flop out. Um, looking up the leg, it is no longer attached to its, um, assigned humanoid being, uh, but instead lays limply on the ground with bits of the bone sticking out from it. Take okay. stress, please. All right. Uh, what does that put me at? Two or three? You're at uh, three. Uh, three. I'm at three. Okay. Um, so at this point, I'm going to take out my, uh, my stun gun. I'm going to set that on on uh, like a kind of a cross mm -hmm. uh, with my knife, how like police do. And then as I'm going in, I'm going to look for useful supplies, sutures, splints, adrenaline, stuff like that. All right. Uh, what, do I have to roll for that? You do not, but because as you as you come into the, the, the med lab area, to your right, you notice that there is a window, and there is a, um, 
an individual, Dr. Kumleski, who is kind of banging against the, the window and kind of pointing to the, the door. Um, looking over at the door right next to it, the computer panel, it says quarantine on it. But this is Dr. Kumleski, uh, one of the people who does have the key cards for the ship. Can he hear us? Um, it doesn't look like it. Okay, because we need she. to figure out... Oh, she. Okay, mm -hmm. we need to figure out why she's in there before we open the door. Um, Sig, check out the, the, the panel. See if it tells uh, you anything. I'm not going in a place where there's literally a butt that's guarding the door. Is there a body anywhere, or is it just that leg? Just that leg. And I'd assume McWord would kick it to the side to keep us from having to realize it's there, huh? <laughs> Maybe. Is that no, true? No, I, I wouldn't want anyone to like be oblivious to the danger that they're in. And you guys already just saw a fucked up dead body, so <laughs> that's true. So uh, I'd oh kick it. God. I'd kind of like kick it to the side as I go in, like, um, but and I'd point at the uh, the quarantine panel and be like, "Sig, let's let's look at this and see if we can tell." And yeah. while they're doing that, I want to take a time to look for supplies. Uh, Mitch, is there like a kind of like a, a talk button anywhere on the on the wall here on the glass? There is. Uh, I'll press that. All hey, right. Doc. Um, what's going on here? Sorry. We but, uh, we need to get out of here. This place isn't safe. Uh, I have I have the key. Just let me out, and we'll uh, we just need to find the other key, and we can we can get the fuck out of here. W why are you in quarantine? I got trapped in here. It's just the automatic protocols of the the colony. Um, and, and as you're kind of talking to her, you notice that there is a slab table right behind her. Uh, and there is a person um, who is very still upon that table. Uh, on its face is this weird, almost spider-like thing, which has wrapped itself around his face uh, with a tail that seems to be wrapped around his neck as well. Um, the person still seems to be breathing. Um, What's that? I don't uh, know. Pointing. We don't have time. Just just enter enter the code and get me out of here. Sick, sick, sick. And I'll like move Sig's hand a little bit so it's off the button. And I'm looking at Sig and I'm like, Sig, there's no way in hell that he, that she got trapped in there. Well, how about, also, how... would my past recollections from earlier know that that's a lie that uh, her the protocol would tell her to go in there? Uh, no, it seems like uh, she is explaining that she was already in during the quarantine protocol, and thus it just oh, shut. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, Holroyd, how the hell else are we supposed to get off this fucking planet if we don't have that key card, though? I, I I'll look at uh, McWhir, boss. You gotta tell her to to slip it under the door or something to 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 get it to us, and we can't let her out. From the hallway, let's go get some guns. Morgan, go get some guns with Hannah. All right, I'm going to get some guns. I'm yeah. going. I'm going with Morgan. <laughs> Excellent. And Split the party. Of course, officer. Thirty you're, minutes in. You're looking for supplies, right? You can give me a wits observation. Okay, so just straight wit. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's going to be one six, and then for stress, for stress, uh, all neutral. All right, cool. Um, so you you go down the corner past the the quarantine area, um, and there is some um, almost flesh like vines. Uh, wrapped around several of the kind of air vents uh, down in this corner. But there's a cabinet right next to it. Um, looking through it, you are indeed able to find some, uh, let's say, one vial of adrenaline uh, and kind of one uh, pack of gauze. Gauze, you said? Mm hmm Oh, Lord, you got to stop typing. <laughs> so much typing. Um... Uh, <laughs> And that, that's all I find. Mm -hmm. We'll type for you from now on. Yeah, for for the time being, uh, but we'll shift over to Singleton and Hirsch as they move down the hallway towards the armory. 
heading down uh, the armory as well as kind of like the officer's uh, office is uh, always locked of course to prevent the lower ups from from getting into it uh, so you can do a calm ops roll to try to get in oh whoops and I just uh, use my cutting torch to cut the door off the hinges or something you can yeah uh, it'll take a little bit, so you start kind of filing away at the, at the door. Uh, Singleton, as you're kind of watching around, you notice a uh, a head, that same one that you saw before, smiling at you from that same ladder that you just came from. I shoot it. All right. Uh, so you fire off. Uh, um... All right. Uh, so ranged combat plus... You don't have to roll. You don't have to roll. Okay. Uh, you fire off, uh, and you just see, like, blood splurt out uh, on the hallway uh, and a thump. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> uh, Morgan, you better hurry up. They're here. What, what the fuck was that? I say to uh, McWhir and, and Sig. Oh, God. That thing must have followed us out. Well, well, we don't see that thing though, right? Nope. No, we're we're in the other room. Yeah. Oh, sh- well, but well, I see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. You're saying like, oh shit, they're firing at the thing. M- McWhirt, you have to tell her to give you the. You have to command her to give you the damn key. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go over to the speaker, mm-hmm. assuming I know how to like use it. It's a button. It's literally a button. Oh, so it's just a button. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to do a manipulation roll to see right. if I can get anything out of the person that is, like, beyond the truth. Okay, go ahead. Three sixes. Nice. And another six on my stress rolls. Excellent. Yeah, you can. Uh, you're talking to this person, and, and she is uh, putty in your hands right now. She she very much relies upon you. What are you trying to get, and what are you trying to tell her to do? Trying to figure out if there's like anything we're gonna regret by opening this door. If she knows anything about the thing behind her that she's lying about, or if there's a reason why she's in quarantine that she's not being truthful about. Um, so she, she says that, um, I, the, the company intercepted a, uh, a communication from here, speaking of some, uh, weird, um, virus of some sort, uh, something that we, we know about that we've been looking into. And I thought that myself and the other could get here and, and claim the prize before, before the corporation figured it out and maybe we could sell it to them. I should be fine. I haven't come in direct contact with it. The person behind me is not. Um, he will most likely die, I believe. But if you just let me through, we can get out of here. And she really doesn't know anything about the thing that's on its, on his face? Correct, yeah. Okay. Um, well, can you look at, like, because you're the most observant. Can you look at her and see if you can tell if there's any, like, um... Well, sorry. Let me rephrase this, Mitchell. Mm-hmm. Can we see the you body, me Mitchell? I mean, mother. Uh-uh, hey, I'll, I'm no. just, uh-uh. I'm just saying. No, it's cool. Uh, here we go. I'm gonna make a roll real quick. Call me mother. This, this. Mo- I'm gonna start calling you mother sucker. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Sorry, Morgan. I just got you killed. Um, so, uh, Hirsch, uh, well, actually, we'll, we'll Singleton, as you kind of turn around, uh, mm-hmm. you notice that Hirsch is not there. Oh, I'm in inside already. Nope, the door is closed, uh, there's still the, the burnt marks, but Hirsch is not behind you. Uh, kind of up, you see, like, this little, uh, one of the ceiling tiles is slightly parted open. I say, uh, Hirsch, where are you? Wait a second, who's Hirsch? I'm inside the room. <laughs> Morgan. Oh, oh, Morgan Hirsch? Mm-hmm. Um, 
I go to the door. I assume it's not busted all the way open yet, right? Correct. Um, given my agenda, um, would I have access to this room? Uh, we'll say yeah. You got secret access. All right. <laughs> I swipe my card and get into the armory. <laughs> it opens up. Uh, so we'll we'll go over to Hirsch. Uh, you were you were just you know you 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 saw a shot and for that one moment you you turn around looking and you see the smiling face in front of you. Its flesh kind of peeled back uh, as its long arms, which are equally twice the size of this thing's length, grabs you and brings you up into the uh, the ceiling. Everything is dark, um, and you are going to take uh, two damage. Uh, where does that put your health at? Can I burn the thing with my uh, cutting torch? Mm -hmm. We're getting to that, but first the damage. Yeah, so you should have your health on the, the sheet right there. Oh, yeah. It's, so it's five minus two, so I have three left. Okay, excellent. Yeah, so you're, you're getting cut up and, and slashed, um, and you are actually going to fall through the floor on, uh, let me see, uh, on D block. D block two is where you currently are as you fall through the ceiling floor. So everyone hears like this crash and I don't know if Morgan is a screamer, um, but, uh, Morgan, you, you fall onto these grates and you see the smiling face, uh, its hands kind of grasping at the ceiling as it starts to move towards you. Its mouth starts extending, uh, way larger than you believe possible. Yeah. I'm, I'm running as fast as I can back to the armory. All right. That's single ten. <laughs> so why don't you give me agility mobility roll? All right. Uh let's see. Oh, not Tara. This is for uh for Morgan. Oh. Yeah, trying to get away. Uh three successes. And I'm good with the thingy. With the panic? All right. So you get one panic because uh, this is pretty horrific. Uh, as you run, um, and we'll get back to you. Singleton, you are inside the barracks. Yeah, I run into the armory and then I close the door behind me. <laughs> All right. You <laughs> shut the door. Um, what else are you doing? I'm looking around and I have my gun out, like, ready to shoot anything that moves, basically, at this point. Yeah, there is, uh, as you kind of come in, just past the door there is a like a secretary's chair next to several armed weapons inside this glass container that is obviously locked uh behind the secretary's uh desk you see this woman uh, whose head is placed on the keyboard um the lights in here are bright and fluorescent um there is plenty to see all right, so all the all the guns are locked in this case, mm -hmm. but it's glass. Yeah, but it's like you know, future glass. Oh, it's like <laughs> like thick glass, not yeah. just like bulletproof root, yeah. bulletproof glass. Uh, does my does my agenda give me access to the guns? It does not. Okay, um, I go over. Well, first I make sure that the room is clear aside from this dead secretary, presumably dead secretary. Mm -hmm. Alright, um, so I go over to the computer and look on the screen. Alright. Uh, from a safe distance, like from a couple feet away. Yeah, so you kind of maneuver <laughs> yourself around. Maneuvering, though, you will get a panic uh, or stress dice as you notice that there is a hole in the back of this woman's head. Oh, alright. Does it look like any of the weapons are missing? It does not. Okay. Um, what's on the computer screen? Um, you see just, um, uh, little green letters. It looks like she was trying to talk to Mother. All right. Um, I kind of use my gun to shove her onto the floor. She flops down, uh, kind of facing you, uh, upwards as you do. Her eyes have rolled back into her head. 
I try not to look, but I'm glad to see that she's actually dead. Um, and then uh, I type on the computer and try also to access Mother. All right. I mean, you have access to her right here. What do you type? Um, Mother, if we're in an emergency situation, I need access to these weapons. Uh, there is some uh, green letters flashing, uh, and it says, evacuate downstairs, please. With weapons, please? Not necessary. Please evacuate downstairs. Fuck! Is there anything in the room um, as I look around that could break through that glass? Looking around, you see maybe a fire extinguisher. Maybe if you give it a good whack, you could crack it. Um, first, I'll try hacking through the computer with Com tech, can I do that? Mm -hmm. Yep, wits com. All right, so. Oh my gosh, I have more stress dice than I do. <laughs> I do for my regular roll. Oh shit. Come on, one. Uh, got no, no successes for my regular roll. Okay. And I got nothing for my stress dice, but I did get a one. You did? You got a one? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so your stress <laughs> increases by one. Uh, now roll a d6 and add how many stress you have. Okay. Seven. And how much stress do you have? Or Five. did you already add it? Yeah, I already added it. Okay, so a total of seven. Five, All right. and then I, I rolled a two. <laughs> so you now have this nervous twitch. It's just something about it. Um, but he's just like... You can almost look at yourself in the in the the reflection of this computer screen, and you almost smile in this weird twitchy way. Looking at the computer itself, um, it says, "You best get a move on." I stand up, and then I go for the fire extinguisher and try that method instead. All right, so we'll hop over to the officer and friends. Okay, awesome. So, so um, I, I asked, uh, I asked the two um, techies with me. Do either of you know how to use a gun? Uh, yes, but here, here was my earlier question before uh, Morgan got ganked. Um, <laughs> can we see the body that's on the table well enough to see? That it's got a, a thing on its face. Mm -hmm. You can. Can we tell if it if it seems to be like, um, if it would leave marks, and if so, does she have any resembling marks? Well, that that's why that's why I was asking if you could use a gun. I was going to do an observation on her while you while you hold the gun. Well, you can do that through the window. I'll definitely hold your gun too. No, I was going to do like a hands-on observation. And just like let her, because she's not lying to us. So anything she's hiding is completely subconscious. Mm -hmm. Okay, so give me your gun. Yeah, you're gonna. So it's it's a bolt gun. So it's a stun gun. Um, and I'm gonna keep my knife out, and then I'm going to as quickly as I can coordinate with her to get out because the thing behind her is freaking us out. All right. Uh, and then we're gonna open the door for her for a split second. Let her out. All right, you, you put in the override for quarantine. Uh, she kind of jumps through, landing on all fours, uh, as she does on the other side, and the door quickly slams shut behind her as you quickly go, like, close. Okay, and then I, and then I take my knife out and I say, get up. Uh, she'll, she'll get up. Okay, and then we're going to, I'm kind of going to, like, uh, obviously Corey's character is going to have the gun point at her the entire time. But I'm going to do, like, a hands-on, like, investigation, and then, um, uh, Chess, your character has like medical knowledge, right? That's it's Holroyd and Sig. Holroyd and Sig. McWhir. <laughs> Wait, which which one of you is Sig? Sig. I'm, I'm Sig. You're Sig. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So Sig, you have medical knowledge, right? Yeah. Okay. So help me with uh, help me with like the investigation and see if we can compare her to that body you saw earlier. Okay. Um, All right. You're gonna see. do a quick medical examination of this woman. So I can assist too to give you an extra yeah. die. Okay. So it'd be seventy six uh, plus my stress, which is three. Uh, one success, one fail. 
and where, then uh where is so the on the stress on the, on the stress it was one success one fail okay um and then one normal success all right so why don't you give me a d6 and add your stress uh your stress increases by one does for the dice roll does is it before or after the before. stress increase before? before okay all right so i got a one on the die again uh right and uh what's your panic uh, it was three at the time, all so right, it'd be so, total four. All right. Uh, so uh, you're you're looking over um, her kind of arms and everything, trying to get a, a quick look at, at what she exactly has been through, and you notice tiny little bite marks all along her arms. Um, and this is terrifying, uh, which raises your stress level a little bit, but you're able to kind of like take in a few breaths and... I'm okay. I'm okay. Everything's going to be fine. Uh, but other than the bike marks, she is okay. Okay. I don't think... I don't think it's anything lasting. I think she uh, is has her... Con she's f uh, fortified her, you know, her way through the situation. <laughs> um... I, I think I think she's gonna live, and we don't have anything to worry about. Wait, but she didn't tell us about the bite marks when I asked her. Okay, but that's probably because, like, I mean, it. She, she's also a medical professional, and probably just thought that like the bite marks weren't anything serious. What the yeah. hell okay, bit? Well, uh, what the hell bit you? I say as I push the gun into her back of her head. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold her I'm gonna hold her collar yeah. and be like, why Why do you hide this from me? What I it did it was not a big deal. It's just some. Well, bite what did marks. this? The thing in the back of the room? No. Then what did? I don't know. It was dark. I just felt bites and and it it hurt, but I I ran. Can we go, please? All right, I we're gonna go, but I signal to keep the stun gun on her at all times. All right, we just need uh, the other one's card, and we can get off this, this fucking rock. Wait, <sighs> how many seats are in a escape? Pipe it's it's thing? like you know, it's one of those uh, larger ships, so uh, probably about like twenty or uh, okay. uh, without okay. like so, so we can all, safety. We can all make up. Yeah, definitely. Right, okay. Cool. Then we're at the killer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just just guys. <laughs> all right, um, and then. I guess we'll make our way towards the armory. Yeah. Um, a question, mm -hmm. Commander. Could we stop at the command center to look at the mainframe? Uh, what, are you, what are you hoping to see? Well, I mean, say we can't find the other key card or, you know, whatever. Maybe we can get the, the locks off the ship. Or, um, you know, maybe... Ha break in or get into some of the other computers on base to like see what she was talking about with the uh you know alien being on but if, if we unlock the ship now any survivor could just grab it and take off that's fair okay like we want to make sure we get as enough enough people as possible without one selfish person panicking and just escaping okay that's fair that's fair all right so you're not going to ops is there anything else you want to see there, or just that? Like, we can check the CCTV to see if we can, like, find the other person. McWord, you're not listening. You're freaking out, man. There is no CCTV. There's no surveillance. Well, actually, McWord would know that there is CCTV. What the fuck? I'm an engineer. <laughs> I should know this shit. Uh, what is CCTV? The cameras. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, yeah I guess we'll go and check the cameras. All right. Uh, you go into ops. You, of course, are allowed in uh, being an officer. Uh, you see several TVs that are damaged. Uh, others was kind of like the static. Um, there are several individuals here on the ground. It looks like their chest cavity had just been opened up. Bits of their rib cage uh, lies everywhere. Um, so each of you guys get a plus one stress. I'm going to pull out all the, um, yeah, all of us, all the three of us. I want to pull out um, the little doohickey. Is there any movement around us? There is. Something is coming towards you really fast. 
from outside of this room or mm-hmm. from inside the from outside of this room uh boss stand outside while i close the door what <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're not fucking telling us the truth. Get your ass in here. I'll pull him in. Close the door. All right. I know you don't like me. I don't fucking know why. But what I do know is where the hell did these fucking cameras come from suddenly that none of us knew about? We need to see what the hell's going on. All right. You hear the pounding of feet slowly coming towards you. We close the door. Close the damn door. Well, we already closed it. No, you got to close it. Oh, okay. I, I close the door. All right. Uh, and Morgan, you kind of run down the hallway, and uh, the door a door closes uh, just as you reach that hallway. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fucked up. I love everything. <laughs> I'm still going back to the armory. Is it that way? <laughs> yeah, just past it. So you're just like, you're, you're ignoring the, the door that just shut. Yeah. All right, you you come back and you see uh, Singleton uh, on the on like the chair typing away. At I the shut computer. the armory door. Yeah, and the 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 armory door is shut. Knock, knock, knock. And then I'm looking back. Is that thing still following me? No. Okay. Yeah. Knock, knock, knock. Like, let me in. Can I hear who it is? Uh, I mean, you can kind of see if you just kind of lean over, you see him through the. I like, pause glass. with like fire extinguisher swing yeah. <laughs> and go let him in and say quick, and then I let him in and close the door. Now I'm gonna use the hammer to break open that thing in like the biggest hurry ever to get a gun. Yes. <laughs> so all right, so you're using your tiny hammer. She's using her, her uh, fire extinguisher. Uh, so we'll say, uh, Hannah, why don't you give me strength melee? Okay. Uh, and you get one extra dice because of uh, Morgan, who is helping you try to break this open. Four. With his baby pickaxe. Mm-hmm. Little baby pickaxe. Five. Uh, but he's so strong. This is a straight strength roll, then, right? Yep. Okay. Plus one. And remember all your stress dice. Uh, no successes. And. Now for my stress dice. Uh, I got one six, but I got two ones. All right. So why don't you give me a one D six and then add your uh, total stress. Okay. Um, well, that's not good. That's going to be an 11 total. Whew. So you're, you're smashing this, uh, trying to smash this thing. And as you do, you see through the reflection of this uh, glass, you see that same smiling face right behind you, probably where Morgan is standing. Uh, And you seek cover immediately. Uh, So why don't you give me an agility mobility roll as you're just getting the hell out. Okay. Uh... Uh, And of course, uh, Morgan, your stress level rises by one after seeing Hannah just flip. Oh, is that thing actually there? No, you you look into nothing's in here. Um, I got one six on my agility and mobility roll. Okay, and how's that stress dice? Uh, let's let's see. Um, I got a six and a one. All right. Uh, so your stress goes up by one, and I need you to make another panic roll. My stress is now at six. Okay, and then make another roll. Mm-hmm. Uh, just the one, just my... a 1d6. 1d6. Oh, just a 1d6. Can I take out my little dinosaur toy? Not right now. You were flipping the fuck out. All right. Um, I rolled a the... three. Uh, am I adding my stress to it? Mm-hmm. That's a nine. All right. Uh, so cool. Uh, you run out of the room, shutting it behind you as you do, uh, just tearing down through the hallways, dropping your... Uh, you had a gun, right? Yeah. You drop your gun uh, no. right as you do. Um, so you're actually going to... Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll come back to you, Hannah. Okay. We'll come back okay. to you. Uh, but Morgan, what are you doing? I want to break that thing open and get a gun. 
All right, Can roll. I, like, close combat skills. Huh? Yeah, yeah, definitely close combat. All right. So while while Morgan's doing that, just to clarify, when someone gets stressed around you, or when someone panics around you, freaks out, does everyone around them get stress? It depends on how they panic. Okay. Yeah, suddenly seeing Hannah see something run out, it's a little stressful. And how often can we use our signature item to One remove time. stress? Gotcha. What'd you get, Morgan? So I got three successes, but one failure in stress. All right. Give me a panic roll. So that's 1d6 plus your stress. Eight. All right, so you are you're smashing this uh, your hammer against this glass, and it's not budging at all. No cracks, no nothing. It's it's starting to freak you out, and you start shaking uncontrollably. Um, so your stress level increases by one, and all agility uh, uh, tests will suffer minus two until your panic stops. Um, so we'll flip on over to the officer Sigs and Holroyd. Um, All right, um, we're gonna go check the camera. Um, we're always making sure that, just for clarification, we're making sure that the doctor is at least five feet ahead mm -hmm. of us at all times. All right, uh, with the stun gun pointed at her. Um, well, and actually, I'm going to go input the. Uh, I'm gonna go input the code to check the CCTVs and start flipping all the rooms that have cameras in them to see if we can pinpoint people of interest. All right. Uh, so you're going to need a comms wits roll because uh, the ma machinery is just too messed up, really. You're going to have to okay. rewire some things. Perfect. Can I get, uh, can I get, um, Sig, can I get your help on this while he's uh, holding the gun? Yeah, I, uh, sure. I, I just need, uh, I just need an assist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you get a okay. uh, gotcha. plus one die from, from Sig. Okay. It, and just to clarify, officer you don't tell me what holroyd's doing however um i do notice that thing that ran by beforehand and so i'm i'm actually focused on like looking at how what the area that went until i can't see that dot anymore before i turn back around i'm kind of like blocking the door well, well i i told you keep the gun on the docker at all times yeah that didn't happen sorry boss <laughs> well, why not because i had to Man, look at that could have been a rat that could have been a fucking creature or something that's coming to kill us when have, when have you ever seen a creature when have you ever seen a creature God. get back to looking at your fucking tvs just keep the keep the gun on the doctor we don't know what's going to happen to her yet suddenly the doc disappeared all right <laughs> I, i'm all right like, it's still like keep keep an eye keep a close eye on her if not the gun all right so with the assist i'm going to roll my um six three successes and one one and then I think I have four stress now. Sounds like that. One, one on stress. All right. Give me a panic roll. 1d6 plus your stress. Five. All right. You're one, able to one, keep it together. One plus four. Yeah, despite kind of the what's happening around you, uh, but you because you're you're typing away and it's like you shock yourself. You're like, God damn it. Um, in just kind of briefly on the the TV, you're able to get a, a little bit of spark of life, uh, and you notice that it is a view of the underground chamber, the mass housing, uh, and you see several dark shapes kind of shuffling about. But that doesn't really attract your attention. What attracts your attention is that there are bodies lined up, splintered and broken and twisted and grotesque, fused with each other. Um, if there was audio, you're pretty sure you'd hear screaming, uh, and then it is off. Uh, so take one stress. Uh, do I gain an additional point from me failing my stress roll? Is that the point? Uh, no, you don't, you don't automatically get a stress because you, you have a panic roll. Oh, okay. Yeah. So my stress only at five now. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're, we weren't able to pinpoint any, like, living people who weren't being mauled to death? 
Uh, I mean, you saw humanoid shapes shuffling about in that scene. Uh, it's kind of hard to see what they were doing exactly, but maybe they need help. And that was just in one of the mass housing units? Or can we pinpoint which like, one? It was a grand view of the housing unit, kind of like the, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the leisure area. Oh, so it's like a barracks style? Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. Uh, I think we should go grab the other to make our way down there. Hey, Mother, can I ask a question? Mm-hmm. What's a pickpocket roll? Uh, I mean, like, larceny if you're trying to get something from someone. I want to get homegirl's card. All right. Go ahead and agility pickpocket. So is that is that an actual skill? Oh, you're asking if it's a skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, probably mobility would be the best thing for this. Agility, mobility. Okay. I have agility, survival. I mean, but I'll do it anyways. Because, I mean, I'm, I want to, like, when she's not... Because I'm not going to listen to the officer, obviously, and have the gun on her at all times. I'm going to put it down and be like, just just be cool. Mm -hmm. And then, like, when she's, like, not paying attention, I want to try and pickpocket her. Um, so that'll be six plus four stress. So this will be ten. And the last four are stress die. Nice. Perfect. That's great. So I've got uh, a, sh a failure on the stress die and then one success. <laughs> Dice right, don't like a, us today. Give me a panic roll. 1d6 plus your stress. You grab her boob. Yeah. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. <laughs> uh, so I got a five max on the roll. All right. You're able to keep it together. Um, she looks to you and you kind of like almost grab it. And there's something in her eyes that terrifies you. That terrifies me. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of the resolution, the don't you dare, you worm type of look. How to fucking shoot this bitch. <laughs> so we haven't heard from Singleton in a while. Uh, Singleton, by the time you're catching your breath, hands upon your knees, uh, you look up and you are back in that morgue with the three slabs. One of the slabs is empty. Uh, there's a blood trail leading from the slab out of the door. Um, the other two are still present. And I dropped my gun already? Mm -hmm, you did. Yeah, kind of going to your holster, you notice your gun is not there anymore. Uh, can I take out my toy dinosaur? You can. I kind of curl into a corner and I'm rocking back and forth. And I take a little toy dinosaur out of my pocket. Excellent. All right, your stress uh, goes down by one. Uh, and as you kind of uh, look up, you notice that one of the sheets kind of rises up as whatever is inside sits up. I put the toy dinosaur in my pocket calmly, stand up, and immediately attack the sheet and whatever's under it. All right, go ahead and give me strength uh, close combat. All right. Uh... <laughs> Um, I got a six, and now for my stress dice. Hmm. Sure, it's fine. All right, a six on my stress dice. No ones. Awesome. So how how are you, how are you attacking it? Do you grab it? Do you smack it against the the slab? Um, is it animalistic? Is it uh, martial arts? I would say I'm still feeling a little unhinged. Um, so I, I start with some punches and then I like like try to identify where its neck is and try to just like break it over the the slab. Yeah, so you 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 get on top and you start wailing on this face and you don't see it still because the the the, the sheet's still covering it and you yeah. you start feeling your your knuckles kind of cave in the the frontal skull. Um, and everything starts to get mush, and you finally slam your your head, your hands down upon its head, and its head just kind of snaps over the edge of the slab. Um, in doing so, part of the sheet uh, rolls off of it, and you notice that it is um, 
the other uh, corporate uh, individual. Um, Miranda? Yep, yeah, Miranda. Was Miranda all gross and semi corpsified or no she looked fine except for what you just did to her <laughs> uh so take one stress uh but you do see the a key card kind of uh uh hanging from her neck for what's left of everything above that uh i take the key card and there's still one body left right mm -hmm. i attack it yeah you do the same thing to this other body. Uh, this one was the grotesque shape that uh, Sig uh, was uh, checking out earlier. Um, but it doesn't seem to respond to you as you continue to pound away on its skull. Uh, you're, you are covered in blood at this point in time. <laughs> I'm going to come back like covered in blood. Um, <laughs> and this corpse doesn't seem to have anything of a value dangling off of it? Nope. It's dead. All right. I take the access card and leave the room and try to go get my gun. All right. So you're heading back to the armory? Yeah. Covered in blood with the access card. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and I believe uh, Hallroyd and Sig and uh, McWhir, you guys were heading to the armory too? Uh, that seems like a good course of action. Uh, would we have run into uh, Hannah on the way there? So as you kind of turn the corner, you uh, see Hannah uh, moving towards the armory door, covered in blood and drips of flesh. Uh, Morgan, turning around, you see this too. Uh, <laughs> everyone gain a stress. Hannah stresses us out. <laughs> so what do you guys do? Wait, uh, we're we're all together? Yeah, yeah. So uh Officer Were, Hallroyd, and Sig, you guys are kind of coming down the hall. So you see Hannah kind of <laughs> moving towards this armory door. Uh, um, and Morgan, you can see her too through the glass. I'm gonna just violently attack the glass to get it done. And You've then... already tried. That 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 glass is not breaking. Did I find my original gun on the way? The gun is right in front of uh, the door. Are you going down to pick it up? Yeah. All right. Everyone sees this blood-covered woman pick up uh, a gun. And it's... Could we tell from a, the distance in this lighting that it is Singleton? Yeah, you definitely okay. kind of notice her hair and, and such. I'll, I'll shyly uh, call out Singleton. Is it? Is that you? I pick up the gun and turn around. And I say, "Hey, I, yeah, it's me." <sighs> what the fuck? Where's Where's Morgan? He was in there in the armory last. I I saw him, I think, but I I got an access card and I hold up the card. Yeah, oh, that's uh, great. Yeah, Doctor Kalinsky's like excellent. We can just go now. We should go. Where's Morgan? I think in the armory. We'll get him out. <laughs> Who is banging on the door? Morgan's at the window, like. <laughs> Wait, there's a there's a window we can see him. Yeah, yeah, the the kind of doorway is the the window, so you might not be able to see him from your point of view, but definitely Hannah I, can. I use the access card to open the door so you can get out. Yep, it slides open. Morgan, where's the weapons? <laughs> <laughs> this was your job. <laughs> you had one job. <laughs> I got kidnapped by that thing. The one with the gun just let me get taken. I've been running for my life. Let you get taken? Yes. Uh, if there's one disposable member of this team. 
None of us are oh, disposable. Come on. That's, so, that's such a low blow, Singleton. Fuck you. None of us <laughs> are disposable <laughs> except for Sig. Let's get the hell to the the, the chapa. Yeah. The doctor's like, Let, let's go. Wait, so you said we had two options what to do with the key cards, right? Uh, no, I mean, pretty much once you get to the um, the ship, uh, it takes both key cards to kind of unlock the ship for I'll swipe access. this thing so that I can get a gun. Oh, wait. You swiping can it to get a gun? Yeah, does it work? It does. Uh, so Morgan uh, or whoever's kind of swiping it, it opens up and you can get one pulse rifle. All right. And one per person or just one? Just one. I take it. What the fuck kind of armor? He only has one weapon. Maybe some of the others were used. Oh, man. Finally. This is what I trained for my entire life, guys. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of which. Um, <clears throat> so what is the role, actually? You guys were studying this planet while I was studying the blade. <laughs> uh so you guys like see morgan come out of the armory in, in a very heroic manner um and then you see these two long long almost spidely skin tight white arms grab him and lift him up uh, uh. <laughs> wait they grab who <laughs> morgan do I have a chance to shoot the no. Wait, wait a second. It's grabbing him again? Yeah. <laughs> do I have a chance to shoot the arms or is it too fast? You do. You can. You still have a stun gun, Corey. I would like to shoot the arm. The Go fuck ahead. is a stun gun going to do? All right, you don't know. Uh, it, Morgan, it's got four shots. You can also do a range combat roll. So everyone do like your range combat rolls and, and tell me what you get. Range plus agility? Yep. I will scream and cower. <laughs> You're like, oh, God. <laughs> I do not have a gun. I did get a six on my roll. But let's see what I get for my stress roll. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. I got four sixes on my stress roll. Ooh, sure. nice. So nice. No, uh, no negatives? Nope, no negatives. Four sixes and two twos. Nice. Nice. All right, everyone else. Wait, we're all rolling shit. Well, no, whoever... the people with the guns. So you, yeah. and, you and Tara. Bro, I'm not. I don't have the gun out. I literally have put the gun away, and all I'm right. holding. I told you to have it out the entire time. <laughs> Morgan. He doesn't listen. All right, I go. I go and I take the gun back. All right, Morgan. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you rolling? Yeah, I. Uh, I got three successes, but one one in my panic. All right, uh, why don't you roll the panic die? So 1d6 plus your stress. Nine. <laughs> uh, so uh, you, you kind of pull up your rifle and you gain a stress as you accidentally drop said pulse rifle. Uh, as it clanks onto the ground, there was a fire, a fire uh, from Singleton and a spurt of blood. Uh, as this blood drips onto you, Hirsch, you take uh, three damage uh, and are dropped back onto the floor, kind of smashing the ground. I have my gun brandished and ready to run towards the doctor if she tries to pick up the gun. All right. I'm dead. No, nope, You don't have so a gun. Uh, when you no, there's no, a gun on the floor. When you no longer have um health points left, instead you will be taking critical injuries. So why don't you give me? It's called a two d six six or two a d six six roll. Uh, you're taking two uh d sixes and you're kind of making them a percentile. Uh, so roll two d sixes. All right, a one and a five. Ooh, not so bad. Um. Ooh, I, I, I like this though. Uh, so you get some acid into your eyes and it <gasps> burns away so you can no longer see. Oh, fuck. But you're still alive. You're still conscious. Uh, despite um, I the hand pain. the medical supplies I uh, I found to Sig and I instruct him to go help him out. Did the thing drop her shit or is it still holding on to him? It dropped, yeah. It kind of just disappeared, whatever this thing was. Okay. 
Seeing um, you going up. It, yeah, I I guess so. I'm I'm like kind of like crouching the whole way though to like. Yeah. And <laughs> you're like now right underneath this hole in the ceiling. Yeah. Like, just drag him and pull him back. Yeah, maybe at some point, like I just like fall completely prone. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm just <laughs> like. <laughs> and then and then I I instruct the pilot to pick up the pulse rifle for the time being. <laughs> no, she has a gun. Yeah, but I can't trust you with a gun. She and the can dual wield. Scream like a girl. <laughs> she can dual wield a a a, a, the, the, a. the medical officer just scream like a girl. One of us can't see, and you just disobeyed me. So she's gonna take the bigger gun. <laughs> Uh, I don't so, want a gun. <laughs> I obey the orders and take out the pulse rifle. All right, uh, Sig, uh, go ahead and roll medical. Okay. Can the doctor help him? Don't we have a doctor hostage right now? She's not helping. She's not that fucking, type of come doctor. Come on, lady. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pulse rifle. Oh, is, is she like a biologist or something? Or... Yeah. Uh, She's the type she of doctor that can't something. help. You should know what the acid did or what effects it's gonna have. She's silent on it. She okay. says we should get out of here. We should leave him. <sighs> okay. So no help there. And then on the stress dice. Uh, cool. One success, two fails. Three fails. All right. Roll a d6. Let's see what you do on a panic dice. That is an eight. <laughs> So you start trembling as you're 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 kind of dabbing the the acid away with the, the gauze and everything. But yeah, his his eyes are burned. He's not going to be able to see. There's nothing really nothing you can do. But yeah, you'll be taking a minus two on all agility uh, tests until your kind of panic subsides. But you're shaking from here on out. Uh, question. Mm -hmm. Would using my signature item calm that? Yeah, it would. Yeah, if you want to take some time, because it'll take a little bit. Uh... Sure, sure. But that's okay. So, what are you guys doing now? Oh, and then I, I asked for the service pistol. From from who? From, from the pilot, because she just picked up the pulse rifle. All right, I hand over my pistol. All right, and then uh, we're going to make our way to the uh ship and we're gonna have the pilot leading the or the uh, we're gonna have the pilot leading the way behind the doctor all right uh so you guys go northward and you kind of have to go back down to uh i think that's uh block one um and you are going outside so the the door swoops open and you notice like the black sand uh gustling in in the wind it almost feels like there's always a storm on this planet uh, lightnings, uh, crashes, illuminating uh, some of the um, uh, the distance ahead of you. Uh, the landing strip is not that far. You can kind of see the glowing lights. It's only a couple of meters away from the colony itself. Uh, but basically, it's this um, uh, this little almost lighthouse like um, building that you go into, and then kind of take the ladder uh, upwards into the the main landing pad. Can I make a suggestion? Go ahead. Uh, so we were talking about, or did we say we were going da back down to E2 from B2? Well, we're following the doctor right now who desperately wants to escape. So okay. we're, we're following them and we have a, two guns pointed at them at yeah. all times. You, you kind of like go oh. to A2 and then go down. And I also have oh. the, uh, the tracker out. So B2 directs to A2? Uh, let's see. Looking on it, actually, no. You'd have to go down to B one and then uh to A one. I uh, uh could... toss, I toss McGuire the uh extra rounds for the pistol. Okay, we, um, I'm gonna um... give Sig. I'm gonna give Sig the uh the stun gun as well. Mm -hmm. What okay. stun gun? The the uh, gun I originally gave you that I had to take back because you weren't o obeying me. You you didn't ask for it back. I still got it in my pocket. Well, give it to Sig if you're not going to use it. Who said I'm not going to use it? I'm just not going to point it at some lady. Can I please have the guns, Holroyd? Just give him the gun. He's going to use it, and he's scared. Look at him. You don't... You fucking freak out. Oh. I'm a tremble. I am a big tremble. <laughs> <laughs> you see, like, I can take it. <laughs> it's like, I imagine, like, 
So this is this is the gun, and like he handed it to me, and I like I mean it just <laughs> <laughs> it's just like going everywhere. <laughs> um, we'll be fine. So, but I wanted to ask, uh, could we could we direct our route mm. down or to C two down and then up? That'd be a question for the doctor. Yeah, I I think that might be a good way to go. All right, so, so we can... heading to C2 and then go down to C1? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, so this area is the corporate office, which actually kind of has a slight hole in it, uh, revealing it to the uh, the planet's uh, weather. Um, there are several dead bodies, but one that kind of stands out is there is... Um, uh, what looks like someone on a armchair just kind of staring out into the abyss, uh, the hole in the wall of this colony. Uh, right above it, there is a ceiling tile that has been completely destroyed, opened up. Mm. Um, and you, you said this person doesn't look dead? Yeah, it. I mean, it's this person sitting down. You can just you see behind it. Uh, I guess. Uh, <laughs> call out. Hello. A slight echo and but no response. Okay. Uh, I'm like approaching, but like you know, gun drawn out ahead of me. Um, I, I'm looking for, like, a computer terminal with, like, so I can check, like, emails or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a, um, a few right in front of it. So as you move forward, you hear uh, a, a feminine voice uh, kind of scream and, and say, Help! Please! And it seems like it's coming from that, uh, whoever is sitting in that chair. Hmm. Um. Uh, can I do everyone an observation? Take a can stress. I do okay. Uh, but yeah, you can do an observation check. Wits observation. Um, as she kind of screams again and says, "I don't want to die." Okay. Uh, would observation be wits? Mm-hmm. Okay. Are we all taking a stress? Yep. I'm at seven. <laughs> Is that bad? <laughs> Wait, just to clarify, what are we taking stress from? You just heard someone scream uh, and oh, say, okay. like, gotcha. I don't want to gotcha. die. <laughs> okay, so where are we relative to the ship now? Uh, you are just south of it on C Block 2. Uh, the landing strip is uh, northward. Uh, okay, uh, so no successes, two failures on the stress. All right, give me a panic roll. Uh, six plus seven, so 13. All right, so you get a little bit closer, and whatever you see on the other side of that chair freaks you out. You immediately run, uh, heading down into C block one, and you guys hear the pounding of feet as Sig just jets. What do the rest of you guys do? Bye. Also, Sig, your uh, stress level decreases by one. Oh. <laughs> Hooray. Yeah. Everyone right. else's increases by another one. What? Oh, damn. Oh, oh this is bad. Hey, Wait. Well, we're all pretty freaked out now, so I'm, I'm getting more and more irritated with the doctor. I'm like, come on, lead the way. Hold on. Just to clarify, mm -hmm. did Sig just freak out and run away? Yep. Fucking McWare, I told you he was going to be stupid with the fucking... <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> this is exactly why. And so, I I just want to clarify. You said all of our stress goes up, but then mine immediately went right back down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it just stays the same. Yeah. Cool. Wh which direction did he run? The direction we're going, or back? Yeah, direction you're going. He went down to C block one. Okay. So, all right. So I, I'm. I'm like to the doctor, okay, it looks like we gotta speed it up. Go ahead. Yeah. You hear again from the, the chair, please help me. I need help, please. Don't, don't fucking speed it up. We gotta go get the guy who just ran off. He, he ran in the direction we're going. 
please help. It's dark. Yeah, Morgan says it's dark too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who's helping Morgan kind I, of? I, I, I So I figured because I don't have a gun, I'm helping guide him with the fucking doohickey. <laughs> All right, so you guys going down to... Wait, Are you guys going down to C block one? Yeah, we're gonna chase after um, chase after where Sig went, and I'm instructing the doctor stay in front where he went. All right, I'm just gonna start singing hymnals. Oh god! <laughs> Amazing. Don't increase my stress level. <laughs> Uh, so Sig, you are hiding um, underneath one of the office uh, desks. Okay. Um, and you start to hear a um, almost lullaby um, from a very young feminine voice, uh, as well as what sounds like scratching. Um, it's coming a little bit closer to you. What are you going to do? Uh... I think I'm like pretty stressed out right now, um, mm -hmm. and like I don't know, staying in, bla in place seems like a pretty good uh, thing to do. So I think what I'd like to do is like take my lab coat and like kind of like build a blanket for it around. Yeah, me. You just a little blanket for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as you're kind of like shivering underneath this desk with this uh, mm -hmm. lab coat over you. Um, you hear tiny feet kind of pitter-patter uh, closer to you, uh, and you feel this hand kind of touch your your head while you're in this, uh, this little fort, this blanket fort. Um, and then it's silent and quiet. I think I'm too scared to move. You feel um, hands kind of reach under the lab coat and start to lift it up. Okay, I'm going to, like, push whatever it is. Just, <laughs> yeah, like, just like, back the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you, you push off, and uh, the lab coat kind of flies in front of whatever this thing is covering it up as it moves towards you. Um <laughs> It grabs you. You see these kind of white, milky, veiny hands grab your throat and, and start kind of slamming you against the, the desk. Uh, so you take three damage. Okay. Uh, I am... So that would drop me to zero. All right. Uh, so roll or two... Or zero. Uh, do two, two d6. six. Yep. Okay. That is three. Wow. <laughs> I don't think anyone has ever rolled a three before. Uh, re-roll it for me. <laughs> you did. I know. Right? It's like, what? <laughs> is okay. it better higher or lower? Or does it matter? Like, is it better to roll higher or oh, lower? Oh, wait. What was... Uh, what was... It can't be a three. What was it? He said 2d6, right? Yeah. Uh, Sorry, but we'll... it's percentile. Oh, okay. So one was a one. Mm -hmm. The other dice was a two. Okay, so twelve. Um, oh, I see. Yeah. All right. So you are stunned. Um, everyone else, as you come down, uh, you see Sig with this lab coat over him. Uh, just did I did I uh, reduce my stress doing that? Um, we'll reduce it by one. Okay. Uh, but everyone sees Sig just kind of comatose on the ground with a lab coat on him. <laughs> so everyone, except for Sig, raise your stress by one. What? Oh, I can see him now. <laughs> except for Morgan. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> happy yep. days. I'm just taking a nap. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna explain in great detail what, what we all see to Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> How close are we to the ship now? It's pretty close, just outside and to the north. Hey. All right. Uh, you guys help Sig up. Give me that fucking gun. <laughs> yeah, I let out a sigh and I'm like, okay, Sig, give him the gun. <laughs> Sig, you're back to your your. But side. I, but, but. <laughs> and, and I, and I give Morgan the uh, scanner device. <laughs> 
<clears throat> Come on, this is such an insult. You guys suck. Yeah, especially as you look at it, you notice that there are three little blimps moving towards you. Are they in different directions or are they in a pack? Uh, they're coming at you kind of from all over. Alright, we gotta get to the fucking ship. Now! Did I shoot yeah. them down? I can Run. shoot them down. Run! Alright, yeah. every, everyone who's running, give me agility mobility. Agility mobility. Like Wait, you... the doc is the doctor running uh, in the same direction? Yeah, yeah, she's running to that ship. <laughs> Agility mobility, you said. Mm -hmm. Okay. And everyone yeah, but... who's still trembling, you take a minus two. Two sixes. Uh, when I reduce my stress, did it be agility? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you're way? fine. You don't have okay. to tremble anymore. Four, five, six, six seven. Several failures. You rolled a what, Morgan? I have one success, but multiple panic dice. All right. Uh, to give me a panic roll. So 1d6 plus your stress. Are you fucking kidding me? I had two sixes on my stress dice, no failures. Ooh, nice. Okay. Wait, Zero uh, sixes on my regular roll, two sixes on my panic roll. Awesome. Uh, I rolled... Rolled... What's the dice we're rolling? Um, agility and mobility. mobility. Okay. Check um... this out. Check this out. I rolled 15 dice, not one mother fucking six. <laughs> Did you but, get any ones on your stress die? Luckily, not on my stress die. That's good. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, because I have nine stress. So if I had ten stress right now, I would have a stress die. Okay, so I oh, rolled man. five successes. Nice. Any stress? No, uh, stress. No, no fails on the stress. All right, so it looks like, uh, uh, Morgan, what'd I'm you out. get on your panic roll? <laughs> Fourteen. Great eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan, give me close combat roll. This is fun. Yep, strength, close combat. Morgan, what the hell are you doing? Because I'm carrying you, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I got a stun gun. Get him off me, get him off me. And I will Man. not. One, two, three, four successes, one less bad. All right, uh, so uh, um, Sig, Hannah, and McWhir, as well as for the Doctor, uh, are running outside. Uh, looking back, Holroyd and Morgan are not with you. Uh, Morgan, you kind of feel hands upon you, and you start lashing out in this obvious panic. You don't, you can't see, but you are smacking whatever it is. Holroyd, you take four damage. Motherfucker, it's me! <laughs> you asshole! Where does that put you at? I've been holding you this whole fucking time! <laughs> Where does that put you at, Holroyd, in terms of I health? think I think zero. Alright, why don't you give me two D6s, percentile, of course. Join the blind club. Eleven. Oh, um, question. Eleven? I don't like yeah, it. I roll, roll it I again. Roll, uh, I rolled a one and a one. Yeah, roll it again. I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> I want it to be good. Then then I rolled double fours. Ooh. All right, cool. Ooh, you so as Morgan is punching and kicking the shit out of you, he actually punctures your lung. Your stamina and mobility are all at minus two. If you don't get medical help, you will die in one day. I'm going to shoot it with my fucking gun, then. <laughs> All right. Make a agility range combat. Well, you it's, it's a stun gun. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's still so range. Seized. It's still uh, range combat. No, I, I mean, are you, you're not trying to kill her. You're trying to, like, stun her so you can yeah. get her out of here, right? Yeah. I'm, trying, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Bam. <laughs> um, Hold on. You said agility plus six, seven. Plus, probably fucking 10 stress by now. <coughs> this is too many dice, man. I'm up to 17 dice. Yay. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, but that's good though. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's not good. Six. <laughs> so I've got one, two, three <laughs> successes, but a, 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 a one on. All right. One give me stress. a panic roll. One d six plus your stress. That's a eleven. No, ten. Sorry, it's a ten. All right. Uh, there is just you. You point the gun, but you you start shaking and you you can't. Like you freeze right in place. Uh, so you get to decrease your stress by one. Mm -hmm. um, but Morgan, make another close combat uh, strength roll. I'm gonna beat this monster up even if I can't see it. Mm -hmm. you, yeah, can... you got it. You got it on the fence now. Uh, three successes, four failures. All right. Uh, so, uh, oh, wait a minute. Were those on the stress dice, though? Yeah, the four. Failures. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, but he's currently in a panic, so he can't really do anything else. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, make another. Uh, oh, sorry. No. Uh, whole. Uh, whole roid. Make um, uh, another D six six roll. Join the blind club. Uh, forty six. All right, you feel your your chest cavity start to split open as Morgan kind of tears at you. You have ruptured intestines. Uh, oh, you God. are bleeding. Uh, it everywhere. <laughs> yeah, everything. Like you're like. Oh, God. <laughs> and what you don't know is for dinner I had hot pot. <laughs> no, no. Hot, hot pot all over you, Morgan. It's <laughs> acid on me. I have to attack it again. <laughs> it's blood. It's blood. Oh man. Uh, and Holroyd, make another panic roll. Oh. As you witness him, like rip you open. Um. Uh, so that would be. This might be one of the times where it's like a good thing to be blind. That's, one. <laughs> That's a 16. You are catatonic. Um, so, unfortunately, Morgan, you continue to pound on this bit of flesh until it is no longer moving and there is warm liquid all over the floor. What are you going to do now? Hey, you guys, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Help, I got it. <laughs> I'm going to pull his dead body on top of me to, like, bury myself. He's just kind of like... Um, <laughs> you hear... Um... Okay, it's holy shit. So, uh, fucking Holroyd is dead. So do we see them now? No, no, you guys took off We're to bolting. The, the ship. Yeah, you guys who are... Has, who has the scanner thing? Holroyd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had the scanner thing and the bolt thing. Which... Okay. So so I'm basically pointing the pistol at the doctor. And I'm like, get us the fuck out of here now. And she's like... <laughs> uh, and Morgan, you have a hand placed on your shoulder. Uh, and you hear Sig's voice say, come with me. I'm going to help you out. Wait a minute. What? Hold on. Back up. So we're running, we're running. Not you guys. This is for Morgan. He he feels a hand placed upon his shoulder, and oh. then in. Uh... So you're saying I come back for Hirsch? Mm -hmm. Well, okay, so... yeah, that that checks out. Yeah, he hears your voice. Can I still fight? Yeah, are you gonna try to kill Sig? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck, Hirsch? <laughs> I mean, I would have like. <laughs> <laughs> like calmly come over to Hirsch and be like, Hirsch, it's me. It's me, Sig. It won't be after I've done pummeling you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're gonna pause on on Morgan as, uh, but definitely make the strength plus uh, melee uh, close combat roll. Uh, so Sig, Mikwer, and Singleton, you guys get to the the landing strip, um, just into the first floor of it, and you guys kind of. Use your keys, uh, and you hear the contraptions <coughs> above uh, start to power up the ship. Um, so now all you have to do is kind of climb up the stairs and, and get onto the ship. Okay, so um, I point the service pistol at the doctor's head, and I say, give me your card. 
she hands it to you. All right, so now me and the pilot, we have to swipe at the same time, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so we go over. I'm assuming she, she's going to do that with me? Yeah. All right. All right, swipe. All right, and, and then I'm like, uh, okay, is Sig with us? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I okay. thought I legitimately did go back to help. No, no, no. Yeah, no, there, no. there are two possibilities. <laughs> so I point to them and I say, get on the ship. Uh... I, Captain, I feel like we're really missing out on some, yeah, like, no, no, valuable... I, I, I scream, get on the ship to both of you. I'm on the ship. I'm like... Oh, sit, I, sit, I get know. on the ship now. I'm pointing the gun at him. Do I have my gun? No, no, you don't have anything. Okay, I... I, I don't have a choice. I'm gonna get on the ship. Okay, once once they're on the ship, I point the gun at the doctor and uh, blast her head off. Hey, once, once Sig is on the ship, when the captain and the doctor are still not on the ship, uh -huh. I try closing the door. <laughs> All right, so uh, you hear a gunfire, uh, blood uh, splashes against the wall, and uh, McWhir, you notice that the door to the ship is <laughs> closing. <laughs> okay, I, I, I run up as fast as I can. All right, give me agility mobility. <laughs> All right. One success on regular dice. <laughs> what am I at, seven now? I believe so. <clears throat> no way. You're at like, so I was at ten, so you got to be at least eight. I ha I haven't went insane. Like, the one time I failed my roll, I saved it. Yeah, we'll, yeah, go, we'll, we'll go with uh, And I, I also didn't inspect the body thoroughly that you did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll go with seven. Yeah. <clears throat> So that's a total of four sixes and one one on the stress test. All right, give me a panic roll. 1d6 plus your stress. Nine, two plus seven. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, so you, as you, you're you running, you, you drop your gun uh, and, and somewhat trip on it. So you fall forward, and the the mechanism for the ship is is crushing you at this point in time, <laughs> as right. you are caught in between that that little space in between. Okay, can can I can I scream? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so I, I I use pull rank and I scream to open the door. What do I do? <laughs> All right, uh, you can damning do... that button to close the thing. You could make a charisma. Was it manipulation? Uh, Man manipulation, yeah. And then, what yeah. does pull rank do for me? So uh, I'm like, so if you were not going to leave your, if you were successful, you. they have to do it. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, so it's manipulation plus wits or empathy. 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 Okay. So mm -hmm. Seven. <laughs> Three successes. And All right. then, oh, wait, did, did I get one added to my uh, insanity again? Yeah, yeah, stress. Okay, so, so eight dice. Not a single one. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's what I say, three, su three successes? Yeah, three three successes out of uh, my roll. All right, uh, Sig, you feel you you have to uh, uh, open that door. Uh, I will do what I can. Um, I guess, or can I contact to open the door? I mean, you could just press I... the button. Oh, okay, that works too. <laughs> So you can you slam that that button and the the thing starts opening the pressure, uh, releasing uh, upon. Mm -hmm. Can like in walking over you said that. Uh, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, sorry, uh, McWhir, uh, drops his gun. Can I pick that up? It's on the other side of the door. It's outside. You guys okay. are in. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, so as we walk through, I'll pick up the gun. Yeah. So it's starting to open up. Uh, Morgan, what did you get on your uh, strength plus? <laughs> Close combat. Got, uh, three successes, but I did get a panic thing. 
All right. Um, so each of you three get a stress dice as you see these long, like, white, milky white veined hands reach out. Uh, and you see that it is Morgan Hirsch kind of wiggling out from this other larger uh, creature, which is um, white and it's about like eight feet tall on these weird legs and long arms. Um, it has this huge smile on its face uh, and Morgan Hirsch is just kind of engulfed in its belly. Um, as, uh, Officer Wurr takes three damage as Morgan kind of grabs him and slams him onto the, the ground and starts pulling him towards wait, wait, what this happened? creature. What was that last part? <clears throat> uh, so Morgan Hirsch grabbed you, slammed you on the ground, and is pulling you towards this creature that Morgan is now a part of. Okay, and how much damage? Three. Okay, so that puts me exactly at zero. All right, roll D66. <laughs> I will kill you all. <laughs> say, say that again, roll what? Is you're rolling 2D6 is like a percentile, so one will be the tens. Two, four. Ooh, 24. Uh, <laughs> knocked out teeth. So you, as you slam on the ground, your teeth burst out of your mouth, blood dripping out. You're going to take a minus two to manipulation. Uh, from here on out. Uh, what does everyone else do? So did, uh, so Morgan pulled McGuire off the ship? Yep. Okay. So the, the door is kind of like about this right now, the, as it kind of comes down all the way like this, so it's around here, uh, and it just kind of slammed them onto that landing pad. I point the, the big pulse weapon thing at SIG, and I'm like, the door stays closed, and I hit the close the door button. All right, Sig, what are you going to do? I'm going to try and empathy manipulate uh, Singleton. All right, go ahead and roll. Throw her off her ship so I can kill her. <laughs> Tell her to go fight the thing. It was love that destroyed the monster. <laughs> Uh, so one success. All right. No uh, fails. Nice. So Singleton, uh, Sik is probably appealing to that little, little heart you have inside of you. Um, Singleton, we can't just leave them. Come on. I know, I know we, we need to get out of here, but like, like this, like, come on. We can't just uh, leave our compatriots to die. The mission, though. The mission. What about the mission? The mission doesn't mean shit if none of us get to go, like, come back. Well, I guess we could make a deal. Okay. You ensure that word of the outbreak doesn't get out? And I'll consider a rescue mission here. But none of these people can spread word about this outbreak. Um, okay. Like, I can't have anybody saying anything about what happened here. Either they shut up or they get shot. That's the terms. Does zero health mean that you're unconscious? No, it's just you're broken. Um... So you can still act. You just, you know, obviously every damage will uh, trigger a critical injury. Okay, so just n right now, all I have is minus two to manipulation. Mm -hmm. So, so can you can you assure me of that? Like, I'll I'll go back and get them, but Singleton, <sighs> let me be. Let me. I I I feel you. And I and we'll, we'll pause uh, that real quick. Hold on. As we go over to McWhir, give me a mobility agility as you're kind of trying to crawl your way back okay. to the ship. <laughs> while that's happening, can I also attempt to grab the gun while I'm being dragged down? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Agility, mobility. Okay. All right. 
Look at Terry. He's that, hungry. That's going to be one success. And nothing bad. Oh, I, I haven't done stress yet. That's going to be eight, right? Mm-hmm. All right. So three, four, 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 five, six. So two successes. Nice. Um... <laughs> two successes total. One on my stress, one on my regular. Okay, cool. Yeah, so you, you can grab the gun uh, and, and kind of waddle your way onto the ship, rolling around and dodging these hands, which are trying to grasp you. Uh, oh, wait, so I'm not grabbed anymore? Correct. Singleton and Sig, you, you see him roll over, blood pouring from his mouth uh, as you guys are conversing. Uh, so go on. Do we have a deal? I... I can't... Hmm. If... If I want to make it anywhere in this company, I I feel like I need some sort of proof. But the company and, will be happy if news of this does not break. And I can promise you some special promotions or favors within the company if that's what you're concerned about. I, I guess. Deal. All right. So they either agree or we shoot them. Okay. All right. All right. I open, I press the button and open the... Uh... Well, the, it was already opened. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, and Officer Wurr is kind of probably gasping with blood coming out of his mouth as he's trying to get up onto the back part of the ship. Oh, yeah, so I'll, I'll beeline for that. Do I need another mobility agility? Uh, no, um, but this thing is coming closer. Yeah, I, what, do I, what do I roll to shoot? Uh, is it strength rank, or agility ranged combat? Uh-huh. And what are the rest of you guys doing? Uh, well, she she still has a gun. I don't know if Sig has anything. Sig can always uh... punch it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, so we're on the ship, right? Mm-hmm. Um, what I would like to try and do is, is there, like, any sort of, like, exterior surveillance mm -hmm. that's going on? Yeah. Okay. So, you guys can see like... five, three, four, two, four, six, four, five. Nice. So, it's going to be two successes, one of my regular, none of my stress. No, I just showed you guys no ones of my stress. Nice. All right, Sig, what were you saying? Um... What I'd like to try and do is get some sort of like pictures or like maybe like a shot of video of mm. like the um, mm. the thing of of the thing uh, and doing it obviously kind of clandestinely. Yeah. Well, so you know that uh, since you kind of look, look at the the pilots and there's several screens and everything and they do show that back part of that monster, uh, mm -hmm. and there's always a uh, a recording of it in the black box of the ship. Um, so you can, okay. all you need to do is later on is steal that black box. Gotcha. Uh, take it okay. out and you should be fine. Uh, so yeah, uh, Officer Wurr goes, uh, shooting off into whatever this thing is. Um, how about you, Singleton? Um, <clears throat> do I have a clear shot at it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm shooting at it. All right, go ahead and roll. All right. And, uh, Morgan, why don't you roll your strength plus close combat? Mm. Is anyone pressing the button to close the door? No. My deal was... <laughs> <laughs> well, why would we do that? Yeah, it was a... Uh... <laughs> Success and one in it. All right. I have two successes. Ooh, nice. And... Let's see what my stress dice look like. Ram the ship into the other ship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have two successes on my uh, stress dice, too, and no ones. Nice. Yeah, you guys shoot in, like, bits of it, and you see, like, uh, uh, Hirsch kind of, like, uh, blood dripping from him. Hirsch, uh, your arm uh, reaches out, uh, and let's see, which one of y'all? Captain, of course. <laughs> Captain, of course. All right. Uh, Captain, roll D66. 
<laughs> Wait, I, oh, I rolled two? Yeah, two of those. Uh, six, five. Oh my god, okay. His hand shoots right through your chest. You have a pierced heart, you die. <laughs> G fucking G. <laughs> Well, that's a problem I don't have to worry about anymore. Yeah, like, you just, his <laughs> hand is through your chest, and you're like, do you say anything before you die? Nah. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> go, Stone cold. Go limp as you see the arm kind of grab him on its way out. Uh, what are you two doing now? Um, I think we should just go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's starting to come towards you guys. I, mm, yeah, this, okay. <laughs> I immediately put, as soon as this is okay, I immediately push the closed door button. All right. <laughs> is anyone going to the pilot seat? And I start piloting. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah, how about, how about I press the button and you start <laughs> yeah, running Yeah, yeah, you press the button and I'm, I'm like in the pilot seat getting us out of here. All right, um... <laughs> as you the door starts closing uh in hirsch why don't you give me another strength close combat roll oh no i thought he was dead <laughs> what <laughs> i got two successes all right uh sig uh the door is closing and then arm whips out and kind of rakes you on the shoulder you take two damage uh Back so make uh the 2d6 roll What'd you get, Zach? What'd you get? Oh, I, I have to roll? Yeah, 2d6. Okay. Um, one, two. Ooh, that's not too bad. Yeah, you were you were stunned as this thing kind of slashes you uh, against the, the, the chest, uh, falling uh, back. Uh, the ship <laughs> kind of comes up like that and starts shooting off into the sky, but this hand is still flipping about uh trying to 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 rake you uh morgan make another check oh one two three five successes Woo. all right zach rolls at six six one six one and six all right um so you get slammed against the wall uh and you black out uh, you can kind of see the the thing start to open up a little bit, and you see Hirsch like his face going like uh, before you finally lose uh, consciousness. Um, Singleton, it is eerily quiet on the ship, uh, and I have one little thing to send to you. All right. Uh, and I will send it via lay Facebooks. Uh, just okay. For you. as your the ship kind of goes up uh into outer space where no one can hear you scream i'm eagerly awaiting this message oh there it is <laughs> yep go ahead and read that for us oh no okay this is the final report from hadley's hope is it me that i'm supposed to say pc mm -hmm. okay <clears throat> Is this to the company? Who's to say? It's kind of like, might be okay. your last message out. Because my agenda was to not spread the word. <laughs> 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 okay. This is Hannah Singleton reporting. The colony has been overrun by monsters. Of the 158 souls residing there, only 1.5 survived. <laughs> the rest? What? Well, 1.5. <laughs> I dread to think what has happened to the rest. I can only hope they were given the mercy of quick death. But I doubt it. If you receive this message, do not attempt to rescue. Stay far away and inform the, the Colonial Marines as soon as you can. Only they can handle those monsters. This is Hannah Singleton signing off. All right. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it. 
Alien Hadley's home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so if you guys didn't know, this is the events that occurred right before the Aliens movie. Of course, I changed some things uh, to keep it fresh and liven it up. Uh, but yeah, what'd you guys think of Aliens, the role-playing game? That was fun. That was bloody. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, very bloody. Um, I always like that, though. Yeah, Terry killing everything. Yeah, I'm glad I got to be a monster in Terry yeah. Corey. <laughs> I love that blinded yeah. you just beat up <laughs> Holroy just <laughs> unknowingly. I was like, he's taking care of everybody for me. This is great. <laughs> I thought I was going to shoot everyone at the end. <laughs> All right. Uh, so this is, uh, of course, Penny for a Tale. Uh, you can check out our schedule at pennyforatale.com, also on our Facebook page. Tomorrow we are playing Age Past, uh, Pathfinder 2.0. The day after, we are continuing on with our Star Wars campaign with Fantasy Flight Games. And the day after that, we are hopping back into uh, the Genesis with a the Genesis one-shot with Kyle Wiley, one of the writers, um, doing the one-shot for us, along with our other group called Baby with Knives, who we're excited to play with. Uh, but you guys, uh, let's, let's have some closing announcements. Uh, Tara. I thought this was awesome, so thank you for having me. Uh, again, I'm Tara with the Geek Initiative and LARP.com, and uh, we'll be running a lot of digital LARPs at the Geek Initiative, so check us out. We'll help you get through your quarantine. <laughs> Definitely. Um, Riley. Er, sorry, <laughs> Dylan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> yeah, I see, like, Ryan, Dylan and Riley something like this. Uh, yeah, it, it was really fun. Um, I, I like the role I picked. Um, I had a lot of fun just using, like, the whole, uh, manipulation charisma gimmick with it. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. All right. Man of many words. <laughs> the best of words. Uh, Zach. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, I, I think I had a very entertaining role of, like, kind of playing the coward and, like, I, I think uh, Sig is kind of a skis, um, and just like you know, reading his character and stuff. Uh, so my secret objective was to try and get a live specimen out. Uh, oh. Well, I think you did. I mean, uh, <laughs> but I didn't live to tell the tale. Oh, you just got concussed. Who's to say what happens? Then? Who's to say? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I. I thought it was a great time, um, and I, I really liked um, uh, the, the role play I had with you guys, and that you know we all like took turns and um, you know picking like who is you know leading for the, the moment and things like that. Yeah. So thanks, guys. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Thanks for coming on, uh, Corey. Yeah, uh, Corey with LARP dot <laughs> um, Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it. I've this is now, I think, the third or fourth time I've played it, and each time, um, I it's the good thing is it's it's a different game each time based on who you're playing with, what character you choose, what options you choose. Um, this is the first time I've I've heard of the face mangled creatures. Um, I've I've played some where I've actually bought other things. I don't want to go too much into detail for people who may want to play through it, but um, it, it's kind of cool how you can have one one-shot-esque playthrough that has so many different possibilities based on um the, that that universe so that was really cool um the the rolling mechanism very different than like say your D, D or your pathfinders where everything's based on you being super strong and super powerful and you're all awesome and this one's more you know with the stress die based on kind of real life as stuff where like you said if you're stressing out yeah. you do a little better at things <laughs> but you do a lot worse at things um I had a lot of fun. I mean, we, we play together a lot, uh, four of us, and, and then uh, um, Zach and I play uh, some LARPs together. So being able to role play during this, you know, crazy time of the quarantine and stuff is really good. So we, we definitely appreciate, you know, Penny for a Tale being there and the Geek Initiative for being there to, to be able to promote um, these digital LARPs that are coming out. So make sure if you're doing anything, or excuse me, if you're not doing anything, but you're looking for some sort of LARP, thing 
uh, TTRPGs like this on Penny for a Tale is a good option. The Geek Initiative is going to have a bunch of stuff posting, so make sure you follow them. That'll be good options as well. Or worst case scenario, just get on Roll Twenty and find some, you know, D and D or something to play. Keep yourself motivated. Keep yourself going. You know, we'll all get through this. Yeah. Or Fantasy Grounds. Fantasy Grounds was really fun. There you go, Fantasy Ground. Yeah. All right. Uh, last but not least, Terry. Yeah. So. Um... I really enjoyed tearing people apart. That was definitely the highlight. <laughs> uh, you know, tear, tearing like Gorg's character into pieces as he rolled terribly. And of course, my terrible rolls got me into that spot to begin with. And then uh, disposing of the captain who was my rival by <laughs> my hand through and like tearing his heart out like very Cali Mom. That was pretty awesome. Um, I definitely went into this thinking that I was going to be a hero. Because, I mean, that's why I chose the Marines, so that I could shoot and kill the bad things. Yeah. And uh, very quickly turned into survival more than that, which was an interesting just change of events, um, really. But uh, I'd, I'd say I really enjoyed it. And uh, for anybody that's watching, if you enjoyed the crazy shenanigans that we kind of went through, uh, most of us LARP together. That's what LARP.com is. And I'd encourage you to come out to an event with us. Yeah, if you want to see Terry rip apart other people uh, in game, of course, definitely LARP with them. It'll be great. <laughs> in any case, thank you guys so much uh, for joining us tonight. Uh, stay safe, stay separate. Um, and most importantly, stay sane uh, during these times. Uh, and yeah, we will see you again next time. Bye. Thanks for running. <laughs> My